And there you go. What an awesome trailer for the ACT Major, The Action. The Action. What was Great that? name. Yeah, awesome name. Um, when's it? In January, I think it was? January 20th, 22nd? Be there. Be there or be square? Be there or be square. I wouldn't want to be a square. Do you want to be a square? I do not want to be a square. Count I would me ha- out of Absolutely that. hate to be a square. Absolutely not. But speaking of not being square, we are here at the Big Cheese 3 Top 8. All right, Jack, no more fucking around. No more messing around. No more fucking around. We were allowed to swear a few times on this podcast. That's one of our two. (laughs) We've already used it up. I used the second one just then, and it's okay. (laughs) We have Davox22, SA Local, versus McLeod, SA Local, both of them. Yeah, this is huge. They're Uh, giving us a thumbs up, but it's one second until we start. All right, so this will be a fun match. I think... um, I think it was Flowey was telling me that these guys haven't really played this much this year because they keep going to tournaments like that the other isn't going to. They keep through. dodging each other, dude. I think they've played two times this year mm. because in the past six months, yeah, like Davox will go to one tournament, then McLeod will go, not go to that one, and vice versa. And it's just been week in, week out. I believe off the top of my head, Davox has the better of it uh, in tournaments, but uh, they've been playing a lot on netplay lately, and uh, McLeod's hard, according to Davox. He's saying he's gotten a lot better, yep. just can't beat him. Can't beat him on netplay, but um, we'll see. Tournament Davox, as we know, a whole different beast. It's true. Sunday Davox is a notorious uh, animal on the... I was going to say the queues, but we're not on netplay. Um, at, at tournaments. On the setup. On the setup, that's the one. But we'll see what happens here. This is um, this is the pride of South Australia right here. SA Nick's sitting pretty in winners. Are these the only other two left? Oh, Muscat's also in losers. Muscat's also in losers, so we have a great amount of top eight action coming. It looks like they're playing on Dreamland, which I think is an... Would you go to Dreamland as Sheik? Yeah, you ban FD, and probably it's like it's the classic Fox scenario where like you got to pick between Dreamland and FOD for the startup. Yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah. So it's pretty much the same thing. Dreamland's fine. <laughs> They got right. this. Here we go. There we go. They are now getting into it on Dreamland. Clyde's about to type up a storm on Davox. <laughs> yeah. I love saying that like box players are typing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's like just type the finisher here. T- type in the end. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Slow Ooh. start. Oh, but big down smash. Oh. Hey, look, that's 15 seconds in and it's looking like this first stock is, might be wrapped up. If you can finish it. Oh, Davox gets out. And... This should be dead, right? Oh God, clean. Yeah. So, McLeod, uh, famous innovator of the Pedge Dash, right? And uh, I saw one earlier today, and apparently against SA Nick, he was also, he was hitting them. Yeah, I, when I played him in bracket, he was hitting him against me, and so all I started to do was run away because I didn't know what to do. Get me out of here. It was scary seeing a Peach yeah. get on and be vulnerable, even for a few frames, because that's supposed to be a good that, that ain't right. You know, that, that ain't that right. Goes, goes <laughs> nature. It's unnatural. Yeah. yeah, it's unnatural to see this Peach um, do this. So between uh, Phantom and now, it appears that McLeod has put in a lot of work into getting that tournament ready mm. and a bit more consistent. He didn't really go for them before, but um, now it seems to be a big part of his play, so watch out for that. Viewers. Oh my god, the needs. Oh, he misses it. Um, come on, Davin, you have to hit these edge guards if you want to win this set. But if Davin can get this stock relatively quickly, it should like be okay, but if he gets over 100%, then like he's just going to die to an air. Yeah, it's it's tough to make comebacks as either of these characters, I feel. Yeah, well, both of them are like characters that more wear you down slowly over the course of a stock and then finish it off. Compared yeah. to something like a Fox Falco Falcon Marth, that like you can just die at 22. Yeah, like, like, like they'll just kill you. How the game is going for like the first two minutes is how the game is gonna go for the next two minutes most of the time. Yeah, 100. Um, so Davin's down a stock, but let's see if he can just try to, I guess, pull some. Oh, the needles messed it up his time. Yeah, that's crazy. Cause yeah, to make a comeback, you gotta outplay Peach like four different times. And then even then, she, on Dreamland, you might hit her away at like 90% and it's still just not going to be enough. Yeah, like neutral wind netted him, F tilt there. Yeah. Back air. Oh, what do you do? It's 90%. Back air. It's like, how many more times does he have to win neutral before yeah. he like, you know? Oh, oh. nice. It's still a quick kill. Dreamland, Dreamland, of course it's not. Ooh, okay. okay. Wing back air. Got more oh. options oh. here. I was oh. expecting him to do a wow. double jump back air, but that was Should crazy be an up air. Okay. Man. <laughs> oh, there yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay. Look, even stocks now. Davin's brought that back after he kind of got washed that first stop. Ooh. Love a shield there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, look out. Down tilt. 
Nothing so. Wow, so smart. Pushing him off with the, the snare on shield and I don't know about that from that. He got baited in yeah. like 93 or whatever it was. It's so early to lose the stock against Peach. Exactly. It's now he's down the full stop and he has to deal with the trading monster brick wall that is Peach. Yeah, like they're already almost even percent. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, kind of flub. Okay. I heard a jump, I believe. Oh, wow. I heard a jump. Nice! Whoa. So good, actually. Great coverage! I can't believe that hit. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, I thought he would have got a parasol for sure. Yeah, there's definitely times where, like, I'll be watching Davin play, and I'm like, I would expect him to do a... Okay, he's got a lead now. This is the first lead this set. And by this set, I mean this game. <laughs> that wave dash back was insane! Yeah, Davin gets access to so many more options by nature of just being clean with it. Yeah, 100%. By being goaded. Or even percent, all the stage. Oh my oh. god, the double poof. It's so close. The shield grabs him. The fair. Oh, fair again on the 20 winner. Okay, this could be... Is he going to jump in? Oh, damn. Big win by Davox in that game one. He was behind the whole time and then just turned it up and it looked like McLeod couldn't get a sniff. I can't believe it. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, <laughs> the double scam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about Ready? Ah, dude, no way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to FD, this is a pretty natural counter pick. Um, Sheik has less needle angles. Um, I actually don't know many of the other reasons. All I know is that I hate FD and I don't play it. So. Yeah, Sheik on a platform is just notorious, uh, no. notoriously hard to get it on. Um, because she can cover the diagonal space so well with needles and like her platform game with aerials is just so strong. It's like Plop made a career out of being quick on the platforms with Sheik. And, and then you just take that all away with FD. You have yeah. your big flat pizzeria train. <laughs> That's and, all you got. Yeah. Um, it just, it's better for, for neutral for Peach and uh, you probably get a couple more uninterrupted combos to be honest. But uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. And being a bigger stage as well, you can kind of, um, you know, have more space to get, like, turnips and stuff, like that. Ooh, the needles. Yeah. Needle, the needle hit stun is always surprising me. Like, I, no matter what, because the amount of needles changes the amount of hit stun, yeah. even, though, even though it's, like, slightly. And it's enough to, like, mess with specific timing, especially with, like, with every character in Melee, where you're, um, like, going for pretty frame-tight inputs. Yeah, it's like hitting an Ice Climber's shield when there's anywhere between one and four nanas yeah. in the mix, <laughs> and you just don't know until you hit it. That's just, uh, you keep hitting that button and you hope that it comes out. Yeah. Ooh, I'm liking these double up airs, and he gets the jump again, I believe. Oh. Wow. wow! I thought Whoa. I will say I thought he beefed it when he didn't when he didn't do the quick wave dash back to the ledge, but he Man. managed to get around the parasol. Insane space. Like I said, he gets more choices. He's out of his mind. Head. Wow! Oh my god, he's been killed to death. Okay, one for the road. Okay, he doesn't need that. Oh, twenty percent easy. Thirty-one. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. Oh, nice. That that, that's the skip SSVM, actually. That was clean. Oh, he goes for it. Okay. For those of you that don't know what that is. Oh, my God. He's getting nice. kooky with it. Okay, so with Peach Up Smash, there's a specific part of, like, Sheik's get up. Uh, and I think Marth, they're like get up from like up recovery animations where you can like hit them with like the sweet spot of like Peach Up Smash because normally it only ever like sour spots from standing or whatever but if you do it at a certain spacing, at a certain timing, you can get the sweet spot, kill it like 90%. So McLeod went for it right there, you got to turn around and hit him at the back of it. And uh, it didn't pan out and uh, now we're at 2-0, Davin. Yeah, I was expecting this to be way closer. Like, I did not expect that FD game to go as it yeah. did. Davin was just catching Cloud's um, recoveries to ledge with the really, really low fares, and it was just it was just destroying the cloud. Davin's playing like the Davin I think of in my head when I think of Davin, you know, where he's like, just hitting everything, you know? Yeah. It's like, this is the Davin that like actually that people are worried about. Like when you run into them in bracket and you're like versing this guy who's just crazy on stage. Yeah. But then, like, you play him in friendlies, and he just like messes uh -huh. around. Yeah. Friendlies, Davin is notorious for a little bit of a little bit of messing around. Oh, a little bit of messing around. Oh wow! Get the air dodge out of that. I will say though, he has to watch out for hubris. 
He, uh, despite his cool, calm, and collected nature, Davin is prone to a little bit of hubris here and there. If he gets a lead, sometimes he, uh, he gets a bit ahead of himself. Uh, last stock against Rizal in the uh, in the earlier set, he went for like a crazy like needle into like wall jump fair that just missed, and he has deed. Yeah. And like it went down to the last stock. And he comes up to me afterwards. And he's like, I went for a devil devil combo because that's what we call like crazy needle edge cards. <laughs> devil combo. Yeah, he's like, I went for a devil combo. I'm like, it wasn't even close. He's like, I would imagine though. And I'm like, oh, Davin. I like that. I like imagine. Yeah. He's a, he's a dreamer. Oh yeah. my god, these jabs back and forth. Davin's up. What's the cloud gonna do here? To be honest, how do you beat this beast? It, Davin's just getting so many grabs. I was not seeing that. Ooh. Ooh, push up. <laughs> so people cheering in the background. Oh, it doesn't make that so yep. close. He just don't like this uh, this matchup, and uh, sometimes it's easy to forget why. But Devin is show oh, blah, blah, blah. he's showing us why it kind of kind of blows. You know, it's like I guess if you're just because like oh my god, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> he was up in a storm. <laughs> um, you know the. I guess the issue with the matchup, well, not the issue with it. It's just like if you get grabbed as like Peach. Um, Sheik just has so much guaranteed stuff out of it, like just especially kill confirms at a higher percent. And you have the limb, limbs to space out like away from Mare, Bear, and things like that. And then oh, you also, oh, I told like, you, devil I combo, told devil you gotta watch out for Hubris, man. <laughs> Who's Hubris? <laughs> oh, he got some needles? And is he dead? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He should have just gone to ledge. That, one of Davin's vices, I would say. One of the few critiques I can uh, offer Davin is that he ints too often by arms attacking way earlier than he should. Like, he should have just yeah. eaten the aerial there because, like, often he arms attacks and it's easily covered by, like, a fox up smash or something else. Yeah. And he just eats more damage or just, like, dies when he shouldn't. Oh, oh he grabbed him out of smash. Oh, what was that? He went for okay. He's he's down smash. Smash. Yep. We are the same. <laughs> oh, my God. Here we go. I should be in top eight. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's dead. No, no. Oh. He just One last chance. Turn up. He's gonna try to tech here. No, this time he just eats it. He's not just even. On the up oh my god. Oh yeah. Okay. McLeod getting himself on the board. That's Two huge. one. Devin gets. Uh, Devin gets to go battlefield here. He has to go battlefield. Uh, we'll see if he does get that. He's gonna be feeling real good, I think. I imagine he picks up. Can't actually he already wanted it. Okay, quick needle, oh, gets three. Spilled so much on my don't look at me. Oh no. Um Skip SPM does not know how to drink. Drink out of a cup. Hey, you spilt it earlier, man. <laughs> hey, he, he smelt it delta. Okay, so we'll see this stage a bit more favorable for Sheik. You have uh, your set platform heights, you have really good diagonal. Um, needle angles and all that other good stuff. Oh, don't Crazy. like that though. Oh, that, I do like this. Yeah, something about Battlefield is just feels real nice as a sheep. You know, everything yeah. is just like where it should be, you know? It, it's just, I think it's just good, well, obviously you're the sheep player, but like you have all of your options just readily available. It feels yeah. like your your best just, oh! Nice. <laughs> Needles around back here. Oh, no, no. Just, just, it, it, you missed his Z-Stick. It's, it's right there, it's the big oh. yellow one. Okay, good dodge. Oh, he's gonna chase him down. There's some bats in the venue, apparently, from the squeaking that I just heard. It's like his basketball shoes. <laughs> yeah, basketball shoes. He's going crazy. Oh, wow. He's really quick on his needle turnarounds at the moment. Davin is just... Look at his movement. But I, I have a feeling he's gonna do all this movement. He's gonna hit by an air and die. Oh, nice. Okay, it was so worth it. Caught that grab. Uh, caught that jump. Caught that jump. Okay. He's going to look for a grab here and hopefully not miss his uh, wave lands. Oh, 2%. Oh, Davin's, he hit the needles. Davin's doing his best Chris Angel mind freak impression right now. What does it mean? He's just trying to trick McLeod into thinking that uh, he's going to be places that he isn't. Chris Angel's, oh. Chris Angel's never tricked me in my life. He's a pure magician. <laughs> Everything he does is real. It's all real. How else did he go to the top of that pyramid in Las Vegas? That's actually, no, now that I think about it. Yeah, come on now. I'm gonna have to watch that back. <laughs> okay, I need to check the mods. Oh! Okay. Okay. Oh, get the jump. Needle. Grab it. Okay. Good back in. Now he goes to catch the land. Options. Got options. Oh, he has a brand new whip and he's hopping in. <laughs> okay. He's just, he's doing really smart, like just not Jumping into the peach that's sitting there and floating, waiting. Yeah. Oh, watch out, watch out. 
Did he just, he jumped up to go for a needle and then cancelled it and just fared out of that air? That was crazy. Yeah, that so what, what happened earlier was um, I'm pretty sure McLeod did a up B refresh to try and get a Pej dash. But Davin put needles there and McLeod hit them and it fucked the timing up oh. real bad. He just did like a regular get up instead. Oh, this match is awful for PJ. <laughs> I think a big thing as well is that Sheik's shield is so big. That, oh, like, yeah. you do not get clipped by Down Smash as badly as some other characters in the cast. Yeah, you can tank, like, the first two hits of Down Smash and kind of wave that shot and get it. And then you play Marth and you barely tank the first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, you get... <gasps> nice. oh dude, he's... <laughs> yeah. He did the, uh, the Marth, uh, what's it called, the Gallant thing. Yeah. <laughs> Bonker Dash. <laughs> yeah, he's doing Bonk Dash and shit. Davin is, uh, I think he might have tried it there, but he's also not interacting with turnips when he's off stage. You can, like, nair them and then, like, use them as, like, a tricky recovery. Yeah, because you can up into them and stuff. Yeah, but uh, he's simply choosing to avoid them, usually by burning his double jump early. Which, uh, okay. you know. Oh, it gets clipped. It's so hard not to. No matter how good you are, I feel like there's always a chance. Okay, Dan is just choosing not to interact with the, the Peach floating in the goddamn abyss of the stage up and stop. He's doing so... Look at his platform movement. It's just so clean. Yeah, he has way... Nice! Ooh, I'm not biased. He has way more to lose by, like, interacting with Peach in her zone. Yeah, I feel like that's yeah. the case with a lot of trading characters. So stuff like Peach, Luigi, those characters that, like... Oh, f Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, let's see if he can close his hold. Maybe a mistake in that uh, up here. But, yeah, like... Uh, learning as a player to not interact with like the Peach or the Luigi that's just falling slowly towards you because you're probably just gonna get clipped and you're probably just gonna take more like your risk was just not there. Yeah. Like there was a fine trade to take. Yeah. Trades are fine for Devin here. Especially at this percent. Um, yeah. Like the, the stop thing, the stop count. They'll both get sent far enough that like it's pretty much over. Oh. He's doing it. Uh, he's gonna get around the, uh, the little lip. Whoa. Oh. And there we go. <laughs> okay, this is one hit. Oh. oh, it doesn't kill. It's soft. It's weak. It's, it's soft. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. I can't believe you would not this, get that. The shield that held up. The shield that held strong. Any and Gavin takes a 3-1. Oh literally, my god. Literally any other character is getting clipped by that down smash and getting obliterated, shredded. That's insane. Davin. Blended. Oh my god. Well, there you go. What a character. Sheik. That's the best. I think that makes him, uh, based on what Floyd was saying, he may be uh, number one PR when they release yeah. one in SA. Who knows? Oh wow. Congratulations, Davin. Well, Microsoft I mean, J being yelled at because he's not at the setup. He's. This man, this man right here might have a case for number one SAPR. Oh, Jordy's showing the medal. Jordy got third in Street Fighter V. Oh, hey, congratulations, Jordy. Go. He's repping two medals, one being his second place doubles medal, which I am also wearing. That's cool, and man. His third <laughs> and his third place medal. Yeah, awesome, man. Ah, oh, man. You just really want the weight of a medal around your neck. Anyway. We have a Falco versus a Fox. Falco being Microsoft J, Fox being Muscat. Um, I'm wondering, Jordy, obviously, I think he literally just came from the Street Fighter setup, so he may not be uh, really warmed up in terms of melee. So we'll see. I think he's going to do a the little hand warmer. Yeah, I think he kind of gets into his groove pretty quickly. He's not yeah. the kind of player that needs to play for like an hour before bracket. He's kind of, he, he has no shortage of Quan, as we call he, it. He has a lot of Quan, and that's true. Um, but I think, however, this is a player matchup he has historically struggled with. I don't think he's beaten Muscat. Yeah, well, I think the big thing with um, Muscat, like even Huey was talking about it to me just before, was that um, Muscat plays... Oh my god, look at these pivots. Uh, Muscat plays really different from all of our foxes in Victoria. Um, most of the uh, Victorian foxes are really scrappy or side from ledge. But yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, Muscat really does a lot of, like, correct, like, quote-unquote correct... Fox stuff, where it's like he'll play the correct mix up when uh, Falco is like daring at you, or when he's in Fox Ditto's and a uh, Fox is full up. He does like the correct thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think there's a, a maybe Goody might be the only Fox that like really does it all that much in Victoria. Goody doesn't come correct at all, man. Goody's. <laughs> oh, don't I, even, so I, don't even try to tell me that Muscat plays similar to Goody. Yeah, no, that's true. Goody does have swag, so that makes sense. Um, Goody is boneheaded. I said it. 
I can't believe it. I can't <laughs> believe the Sheik player. <laughs> Look, they're going to Dreamland. They're starting off. Big stage. We'll see uh, who likes the larger stages more. Ooh. Yeah, I, th I think Ooh. they played it, man. And I think Muscat uh, honed, dare I say it. Man. The um, Jordy, so you know how there's like Lord Stomp, right? Like the, the Falcon dash away and then you do yeah. like the backwards stomp? Yeah. Um, I remember Ginger made a video about like that. Basically the same thing, but with Falco. Yeah. And it's so annoying. It's like, your hitbox is just, I feel like, suck against it. Yeah, the zoo, yeah. The, the, the dash back, dash back and then you fall, uh, fade in drill. Well, not drill, really. You fall down here. Yeah. But, oh, Jordy's taking a quick lead already, so we'll see. Oh, yeah. Until Clanks? Was there. <laughs> Side B. Nice. nice. Gets the sweet spot. You're going to hear some biased commentary here, my friends. My friends, my chat. You are unfortunately uh, beholden to the true Victorians of Mike. <laughs> okay. Jordy, in like the past few months, has gotten like really clean with movement, I feel. Like he moves around platforms, he moves around platform like way more than usual. He like plays more mind games in terms of like actual movement instead of um, like just playing like, oh, uh, I have more frames than you here or like this is the, this is down air, like that kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah, he's had a real, um, like, uh, you know, a classic rom-com moment where like he's like <laughs> let loose the hair, taken off the glasses, he's gone from being a frame nerd. To now he's a like beautiful a, girl. A beautiful woman who was there the whole time that now like wave lands off the platform and stuff <laughs> like this. Yeah, she put on some makeup. Like, oh my god, how did the makeup took her glasses, uh, removed her braces because her time was up. Yeah. And then she's look at her. She's wave landing all over the platforms, having a great time. Oh my god, she's beautiful. Oh my god. And no one took her to the prom. Oh my god. No one took her to the prom before, and yet Muscat's trying to take Jordy to I can't remember if I can't finish this joke. Two out of the bracket. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you gotta take the most beautiful girl out of bracket. Oh, look at that! You can take the girl out of bracket, but you can't take the bracket out of the girl. Damn right. That's what they that's what my grandpappy used to say. This is my rest, resting witch face. Any Halloween? Yeah, any, anyone love Halloween here? This should be oh, it. Oh, I thought he maybe got a clip stage there, but Jordy with a small lead. Okay, I think he might just die here. Tech right. Oh, damn it, I'm stupid. <laughs> You're equally stupid, though. <laughs> Me and Jordy, the same. Last stock, game one. Let's see who's going to take the lead here first. Oh, Shine Clank. Jordy has to make sure not to get just, uh, you know, clipped by Shine and then just combo zero to death. But, oh, he's playing it safe. That was not safe. Neither of them are just throwing out F smashes. Four smashes. Four okay, up tilt, up smash. F got opportunity for Muscat. He doesn't cover it. Okay. Oh, wait a oh, minute. Oh, what? Back here. Side B. Oh, Muscat he knew coming. it too, but oh. it's too big. No. Oh, he went for the zoom. Side B to ledge. Oh my god, this is so tense. Oh. I am. I'm pocket chat. I'm pocket. He's gonna get so clipped here by a. He's gonna get by a back air or there or something. Oh! oh there's back air. Oh, the shield came up too. I think he has one chance, but not much left. Oh, oh and that's yeah, it. Yeah, Didn't yeah, reverse. Yeah. That's okay. Must get up 1 0 in this loser's top 8 set. Loser gets 7. Yeah, I feel like that was important for Jordy there. He had a big lead. Let it slip a little bit, and it's going to be hard to, to take three games to one here. That's true. Well, let's see. Microsoft J, Jordy loves this stage, so we'll see if he can make use of it right now. Reset the situation here, 1-1. One, one. He loved it more with the windmill as part of it, but uh, yeah. now that that's gone, it's unfortunately gone down a rank. He cannot be a resourceful son of a bitch, unfortunately. Yeah, there aren't many re resources to be had on this stage, I would yeah. say. Not anymore, not with, uh, not with Frozen Stadium. All you have is, oh my god, both of them, like, just... Like sucked for a second. <laughs> you know, you can actually use the screen in the background to see what's happening before it happens. That's a lie. It sees the future. There's no way. <laughs> what it does show, though, is the combatants and the time. Yeah. And that's all I've got for you. <laughs> <laughs> and then every now and then it'll be current leader, Fox. Fox. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, the... See, I, this is something that I feel like Leffen started to do a while ago as well. Like in the past year or two, he started instead of just um, 
What's it called? In, in situations where you're like under platform, he just does like double up smash instead of going for a grab and playing the tech chase situation. Yeah, yeah, just because yeah. you get like 50, 60 percent and you send them off stage. Get, get the damage instead of having to play a slide off mini game and like, yeah. yeah. Everyone's defensive game's gotten better. Oh, Jordy's missing that one there. That's rough. Yeah, but like, I'm a, I'm a big advocate for double up smash purely because I'm really bad at um, grabbing. Yeah. The, the purple button deceives me and taunts me even. I was, I was watching a double set and I'm like, I wonder which fox is Jack. And then you did a double up smash. And I'm like, that fox is Jack. Damn right it was. <laughs> Okay, well, this is looking like a pretty pretty rough game to try to come back from. Four stocks to one, especially when you're doing tournament winners like that. Oh. Must get so good at Cheyenne Shield. It's, oh, it's ridiculous, it's right? Infuriating. It's infuriating. Oh, sure. Unfair. Is he dead here? Oh. You know who else is pretty good at Cheyenne Shield? Huey. Yeah, Huey's also good at Cheyenne Shield. It's uh, annoying. Yeah. <laughs> People who can shine a shield well are like uh, super frustrating to play against because it makes your unsafe pressure like unsafe. really unsafe. Really unsafe. <laughs> okay, three stops to one. Still a rough ask, especially oh, the back air didn't clip. Tournament winners love it though. Alright, no JB. Come home, soldier. Nice. Nice? Uh, the, too many shines. The, the, the funny shine, yeah. You got the stale shine, up tilt. Oh, you yep, the fair. I was expecting that. Oh my oh, god! Oh, double! Again! Oh. oh wow, he went too far to the left. Oh! I, um, I called that one the Kaiser when I was playing against him the other day, and he was like, No, I do it out of dash. Kaiser does it out of a laser. I think. I think that's what it was. All the, all, the, all the other way around. Maybe it was out of war. It was out of a war. Kaiser was correcting me. It was out of war. Either way. Jordy! <laughs> um, I think it's still a rip. He did a cool cool uh, walk back here. But what else do you have? You have to like zero to... <gasps> he double jumped. No. Jordy is playing crazy. Uh, I'm sorry, but... Never mind. See, the, what happened a few times there was that... Oh my god, that shine grab. Oh, I thought you were going to have smash, Jordy. Jordy. <laughs> oh, no, he's dead. Jordy, you gotta, you gotta hit him with the up smash, Jordy. Yeah, Jordy, you, you gotta, gotta smash him there. Um, Jordy really came alive in his last, like, last stock. So mm. I'm hoping that um, he does not let this get the better of him. Yeah, it didn't look doomed, but he did use up a lot of Quan. So. Yeah. You really don't want to, like, use all your Quan up. Especially when you're down to zero or zero two. Yeah. This is a, a tough ask for look, the best of Falcons. He's going back to George Kristoff Stadium. And we'll see. Microsoft JDM. Microsoft JDM. There, there are a lot of names for this um, in history. And right now it's Muscat's playground. Um, so we'll see. Casa de Muscat. Casa de Muscat. Haskar Musk. <laughs> okay. Woo. Cheese him! Cheese him! Oh! Cheese! <laughs> and that is sponsored by the Big Cheese 3. We have Vega's String Cheese. <laughs> I wish. Can we? Uh, that would be sick. Getting like a cheese sponsor for Big Cheese. Yeah. Let me shake me any way you want, want me. <laughs> oh, Muscat just thought, oh, he must be dead. But now he's just going to take 7%, 9%, 11%. Yeah, it's, always, just... it's so embarrassing when you like, you hit someone and like off stage and then you just start like moving around in the middle of stage like, ah, they're dead. And then they make it back and you're like, fuck. You actually like you feel like an idiot. Yeah. And look, he's taking twenty five percent. It's not much, but it's enough to get him out of um dead being able to crouch cancel stage. Five mm -hmm. percent. Not like it matters anymore. You got a, just a nice back air to start it off. Oh, what a low there! Wow. Oh, he's he's mess ups. <laughs> oh my god. Attack right. Nice. Oh, that was accidental. There's no way. <gasps> Dude, it's the best. It's, it's the best move in the game, man. It's the best move in the game. Get up attack. It's simply unbeatable. Look, Microsoft J is now up one full stock. Basically full. <gasps> Clang! That happened again. That's the second time it's happened. Okay. This is getting tense. Let's see if he, he read that. Jordan's oh. playing crazy now. Oh my god, he's not. Uh, there it is, F tilt again. Grab the ledge. Oh, he, he panicked. He panicked. Look, look, Jordan, you gotta grab the ledge. 
tech. Nice. 69%. Power up. Uh oh. Something something axe pizza. Oh my god. <laughs> Being like three studs to one, it's like, oh my god, we're beginning to believe. <laughs> yeah. This could be the start of the comeback though. Um, oh. Maggie up there. Maggie? <laughs> like my favorite noodles. Oh. Oh, oh no! Yeah. He thought he had it. He Too much Saoji on that one. Look, we'll see it. Okay, his Quan's still doing okay. Shine up here. Bang! Yeah, there Bomb it soldier. is. Okay, we have Muscat 2 1 over Jordy at the moment. It is Muscat's counter pick. I'm expecting um, the big flat uh, FD. A flat zone here, I'm thinking a flat FD. I might be wrong. I'm so smart. It's okay. And we're going straight into that. Muscat is proficient at the chain grab. Um, I think he's got a really good combo game on this stage as well. I hate versing him on it. You ever notice how FD is part of the, the special stages at the bottom? What's yeah. so special about it? Um, it's not attached to a series, a, a Smash Bros. like a Nintendo series. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, Dreamland's Dreamland, at the bottom too, you're right. Dreamland's uh, uh, original Smash Bros. stage. But if Nah, because FD and Battlefield aren't from uh, 64, are they? Oh, oh no, FD is, isn't it? It's a hidden stage. Like, it's a fake stage. Um, anyway, we're back to Muscat being up a stock, but FD is pretty volatile in the space. He's oh, oh my god. god. How did he do that? Oh, he just filled us this. <laughs> okay, even stocks. See, so, the thing is on this stage, like, Fox has his chain grab, Falco has a huge, just damaging pillar. Oh my Ooh. god. Massive pillar combos. God, he's all over him. Um, so even if like someone is one stock down, it's basically just whoever gets the first hit is gonna like blow the other person up. As long yeah. as they're pretty tight with the combo game. Alright, this is dangerous. Oh uh, yep. I would have done the same, Jordy. I would have done the same. Ooh, nair to the mouth. Still well within the realm of doability here for Microsoft J. Ooh, he tried to do like little cross-ups to hit the back of his shield, which was massive pretty. Oh my god, he's falling for it every time. But then again, there isn't really much you can do. That is the scariest part on FD, especially... Oh my god, he just messed it up and Jordy didn't expect it. Wow. What a laser grab. Yeah, no, nothing. Ooh. The scariest part is when a fox is like coming down invincible. And you uh... You gotta try not to get grabbed. Yeah, you try not to get grabbed. Oh! Oscar, what are you doing? You just have to... Why isn't he closing these out? He's thinking that things are done before they are. Muscat's going to eat raw chicken when he gets home by accident. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my god! god. That was so oh, good. Yeah. Look, he's brought this all the way back! Yeah, uh, that's okay, that's okay. It's still... An opening could be a kill here for Jordy. The oh, crowd is dash, split. Just, just dashing around his shield. He knows that he can't get shot in his shield. Gen Down Ginger Nair. Nair. Oh, Ginger Nair? Shine back here, dash, dash, dash. Those are my words. The weak dare. We got last lock. No, he oh, gets grabbed again by the invincible box. He's saying, he's saying what? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, is this okay? Wait a minute. Oh, okay. he still covers it. The coverage. Oh my god. This is so close. This is Jordy's losing side. Oh, he does it. He does it, Jordy. No. no! Oh, it does a side B. That's the only way he could have left. Bias! With a side B. Bias! He smash. He did it. Grab the ledge, Jordy. Grab the ledge. There he it is. The okay, oh thank God. We're going five. Oh. oh! Oh my god! Oh! Let's go, Maski! Let's go, Jordy! He's Woo. brought it all the way back. Oh my god! I was looking a little doomed, but now Jordy looks like a machine. Back to FD. Does he want to take him back? It wasn't really close. It was like last hit. I get it. But like, Jordy has replenished his Quan off that. Yeah, no, Jordy is feeling good on this stage. Oh. And he's looking good too. He's looking good. He's got two medals around his neck. Looks at a third, to be honest. Yeah, he's looking at a third. The way he's playing right now. Oh, he's just like, he's just. Oh my. Oh, this, is like a, this is like a 2006 strategy. This is like something that would be in like the documentary. It'd be <laughs> like PC Chris being like, I realized I could use my shine, my reflector, to <laughs> send back the lasers. <laughs> the, 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 that Ken clip. Yeah. The Ken clip is like, I realized that if I just grab him, he can't run away. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, brother. <laughs> Yeah, it's just the Ken counter. Yeah. Where he's like, he was shooting a lot of lasers, so I was using the Moth down B. Kind of a useless move. Uh, oh, man. Maybe it's time for my like my annual Doc rewatch. Oh! oh! 
He's behind that crazy that, that could have been the Oh, spot. how did that grab not hit either? What is going on? I am panicking, chat. I am panicking. Back here. Oh, Shine back here is better than me. They've actually accidentally booted up silly melee. Oh, good coverage. That's a nice back air right there. Don't get grabbed! Oh, he's gonna get grabbed! Jordy's one of the most grabbable guys in between stocks. He always does the same thing. Yeah, no, and I've never picked up on it properly. It's unreal. I've been yeah, playing him for like six years. And he like does the shield and then does the roll. Yep. And I still fall for it. I cannot nice believe it. He's still alive. Living, got one more chance. He's gonna have to side me for the distance. Yeah, oh, be with him there. That's rough. <laughs> Look, Muscat. Muscat actually covered it this time. Oh, oh no. no. He's gonna have to side me again. Oh, Muscat knew he had to side me. Oh, and he's oh. the stage. Chance. That was everything. Oh my god. That shine sent him like nowhere. Laser. Oh. oh, he went for it. Oh, what a read, but doesn't get anything. I'm standing oh, up in my no. seat occasionally. I can't believe oh. he actually bit with the back air and just gets whiff punished. Go attack in. Oh, no. <laughs> Dash up. Oh, no. Oh, he had it. He, he had it. He totally had it. Grab. Oh, oh the MSJ. Oh, he's Kaiser. rolling in. Oh, he's, he's just doing the MSJ. He just loves it. He loves it. He loves a good back air in your face. MSJ. Oh, no. oh, bro, bro, bro. Okay, nothing. Cover it. Neither of the oh. oh! He can't just on the Oh my god, kill him! Oh, yes, okay, okay, oh. okay. Hold, hold. Don't oh, get he's grabbed, he's man! He's doing it! Oh, Johnny, it's okay. No. He has to, to reel it in. He has to, he has to, he has to rein it in. Oh, both the boys are just playing spaghetti melee. Okay, okay. Oh, you oh, got double shot! Just forget! forget. No! Oh. And there it is. Muscat. Taking this one, 3 2 over Microsoft J. What a crazy oh set. my god. Just absolutely checkmated oh. by the double shine at the end. An unbeatable strategy. It's unbeatable. It knocks you too low to instant side B. He had to, he had to try. He would have gotten shined otherwise. Yeah, well, yeah, you just have to do it on anything. And Moscow oh gets it. Oh my done. god. Jordy put up a hell of a fight. He's out in seventh place. Man, my throat. <laughs> my throat is. I gotta, Just, I gotta hydrate my goodness. by drinking. I, I, yeah, I gotta drink my beer to feel a bit better on my throat. You're right. Close sock. Damn. Damn. Okay, we have sock versus Nangs. Nangs being um, Ruben, Naruvia, if you've been watching for the past uh, couple of years ago. Um, also known as Kurt Cobain right now, with his current uh, he current is get looking up. so swag. He, he actually looks so good. Look it's dude. so good. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Oh, sock decides does not need the windbreaker. It's mind not cold in here. We've does gone, not need to stop any wind. Go on mind freak mode. Let's see if he uh, regrets that decision when uh, Ruben has the wind behind his back. <laughs> Ruben is the wind wind beneath my wings. On God. You Let's know, see. You know, I, I sat down next to Ruben in the crowd, and he was like, hey, do you want some cheese? I've got two kinds. I've got cheddar and brie. And I'm like, what? <laughs> this fucking rules. And yeah. I was like, ah, cheddar. So he just gave me a cracker with some cheddar it's cheese on it. So I ate good. it. It was delicious. It's like, yeah, it's my favorite cheese. Yeah, look, the, the boys had the charcuterie board out today. Uh, we were trying to, we were supposed to use it a couple days ago when we were at the farm. Uh, we were at Ruben's farm the other day, his family's farm, and we bought a bunch of stuff for a charcuterie board, and we did not eat any of it. <laughs> so we decided to bring it to the, the venue, I guess. Badass. All right. Um, we got our, our two gamers here. Uh, Naruvia, Nangs, Ruben is the Samus, and then you have the Fox of Sock My Son. Um, Sock rocking the AirPods. Uh, Nangs rocking the glasses. Yeah. Looks sick. The duality of man. Duality of man. It's like character selects. Okay, create a character. You only get to pick one facial accessory each. <laughs> yeah, one's got AirPods, one's got glasses. Yeah, if you want to wear the hat, you can't have a beard. I do reckon I made Nangs in Skate 3 many years ago. I reckon I made a character very similar. I can believe <laughs> it, to be honest. Shout out to um, Chad Muscat. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Chad Muscat. <laughs> um... But yeah, Sock very <laughs> heavily the favorite in this set. Yeah, Sock, Sock's just like in the past few years has definitely just become basically our top player outside of Josh and I guess Spud now that he's returned. Yeah. Um, 
Although we haven't seen Spud versus Sock, so who knows? There might be some crazy things happening there. Yeah, I really hope Spud continues to enter Australian tournaments because same. That would be, dare I say, an epic. I'd love to see my homie. Been been too long. Mm -hmm. uh, but but we'll uh, see. Until uh, then, Sock heavily holds the title as the best player. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm waiting. Wait a minute. Waiting. I'm talking like it's six months ago. Never mind. Are you talking about? You talking about Phantom? Are you bringing that up? No, I'm. I'm, to, I'm talking up? like Sox undisputed here. We got some dispute. Let me tell you. What is this dispute? What I, is it? I don't know. I mean, maybe on like a, a year-round results basis, maybe. But um, last two tournaments, I say Nick. Sanic. Has, has he been cleaning up Sox? He um. What do you call it? Beat him at Phantom. Sorry, I placed him at Phantom. What? I placed him at the next tournament. Ah, uh, the City of Melee. Ah, oh, the wrecked, the wrecked City of Melee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no. So we'll see because Nick's on the other side of the bracket. I'm assuming. So the winner of this goes into winners. winners yeah, then Nick and Sock are destined to meet. In winners yeah. finals, which is a uh, you know, unless Goody has anything to say about it. Unless Goody has anything to say about it, I was warming Goody up before. Um, he's always fast. I tried to play like Nick. That was fun. Um, a lot of burials. Oh wow! This is. I think Ruben likes this stage. I'm pretty sure he just yeah. doesn't mind it at all. Obviously, because they struck to it, like he doesn't think it's a terrible stage, but he's just dead. yeah, it's. Hard to get kind of camped out and like made to feel like a mid tier on this stage. Yeah, true. But then again, the scrap is so hard as Sam is like, you just have to be so much smarter than the other guy. Your brain has to be huge. Yeah, he does the lazy man now. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh wow, god. he got the up smash out before the up tilt. Oh, bang. Oh my god, it's so much time Ooh. on that. So, Nang's Ruben, he is from South Australia, South Australian local. Uh, Sock is from Sydney, so the crowd here is yelling for Ruben. Ooh, that's a spooky one. Oh, no, he's dead. Oh. He got scared. Sock scared him. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Is that a little. Zoomy, little, zoomy, goomy. Little zoomy, zoomy. Oh, no. Oh, Nothing, it's... though. Oh, wow. I, see, I don't. Oh, get that guy out of here. I don't know enough about how Samus plays. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, Nangs is kind of our like premier Samus. Ooh, okay, nice. Yeah, there's oh. a couple characters in Australia that don't have very much top level representation and it essentially just becomes not the Samus matchup but the Ruben matchup. 100%, yeah. Oh, use shy guys to get around. It's kind of that way with McLeod and Peach. Yeah. If you play a uh, Fox Sheep, Marth or Falco though, your your numbers. You, everyone knows the matchup now, sorry. Yeah. Oh Jigglypuff now. Yeah, there's a, there's a few jigs around. So many. Between uh, Luma and um, Amps. Amps got blanket. You go Spinal. Spinal, you got Garfield. Garfield. Crazy. Okay. Uh, this is looking like a bit of a rough one. One more shine up smash will just kinda do it. What's a what's a Samus to do, man? Uh, B mid to you. Ooh. Is this going to kill? Wow, read that dash away. Look, it's only one stuff. One stuff's going to leave, but it is uh, very difficult. Just to mount to this, uh, this gap when you're playing Samus on, uh, against the box. Especially, oh wow. Especially on Yoshi's. And it's just death there. Yeah. Yep. See, <laughs> Samus just doesn't make the noises that like all the other characters make when they're like going to die. Yeah. So like you see them get up smash and you're like, is that oh. dead? Oh. And it's dead. The weird is Yeah, it's not like, Wah. Yeah. Uh. Oh, chickeny. It's just, Wah. No, anyway. it's, um, you get the, the puff gets up smashed and then it's, chicka boo. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I'm supposed to get both the shine and the up smash. It sucks so fast at doing that. I've tried to do it a few times. I've never been able to hit it. Oh, good up tilt. Suck it. A little bit of a flood there, I'm assuming. Unless he was just trying to do a laser out of hit stun, which would be crazy. Yeah. Nang's missing his, uh, missed his tech there. Uh, good tech. 
Oh my god, just the light shield to wait for the, uh, what's it called, for the whole invisibility run out. I guess, like, if you're full light shielding and you're ready to react to Samus' grab, what does Samus do? Cry about it? <laughs> Samus copes, I guess. Sock missing the... Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Kaiser next to us running the stream and saying, what the fuck? <laughs> no, it's alright, Kai. This is horse shit, I agree. It is, yeah, it's, it's dog. Wolf. Where's animal control when you need him? Oh my god, that landed so that quick. quick. That was so quick. Like. It's so like odd that they decided to make... Um, oh my god, what did he just is, kill himself? Oh, no, save. How did he cut? So confusing, what? actually. Yeah. Wow. Hiya! He's alive, yeah. I'm still... Nah, that's fine. I'm sure. Up to... This should have been a huge lead for Sock, and then I don't know why he went for that shine. Could have just grabbed the ledge. Look, sometimes you just want to really just, like, kick it home, you know? Mm. Oh, wow, he just missed. Sock is dropping a couple easy ones. A couple gimmies right here. Oh. Gets a slide off. Oh, he's gonna slide off. Here's another grab. Oh! There it is. Oh, oh wrong place! Yeah. You do not want to up B there. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god, he grabbed his he up B! Grabbed the up he must have still been invulnerable for like a second. Or like half a second, a fraction of a second. Oh no. He's oh, there's... down, he's pressing down on both oh, the sticks. Oh god, he just took like 6%, 8% from lasers alone. Oh, Sock looks like he's running away with this one. Sock will not respect his Samus on the ledge. Oh no, he just fully shielded it. He knew what he was doing. Sock, Sock only just hard focus on his face. He's got nothing else. He is seriously just zoned in. He wants to get to SA Nick or Goody, depending on who's, uh, who wins the next uh, winning side set, but... Eyes on the prize here for this young man. Look. That prize being the Big Cheese 3 trophy, medal. A little cheese platter. Charcuterie board, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it looks sick. The, the actual trophy is awesome. Oh, hell yeah. Um, but I, <laughs> I do wonder, like, <laughs> which one of our top three people are going to, like, actually use it as a, as a board? You'll, you'll see. It's so good. It's actually a board? It's, oh, it's, yeah. it's so good. <laughs> oh, he's just waiting! Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Nice. Ruben has now entered funny mode. It's it's funny time. <laughs> okay. Ruben's being a little silly about it. Samus' spot dodge isn't very good, right? Like it's it's so slow. It's, it's like uh, Falcon level of just like sorry. Oh, just it in the mouth. Good night. Ooh, accidental uh, tournament winner. No one ever wants to do it. Oh, not at least rarely. Ooh, another tournament winner. Nang's Big stretch. Really back. And there we go. Ruben is another one. And I've been saying this. Ruben is the grabbingest guy. He is pretty grabby. He like, definitely grabbed me a lot during the outset. When he plays Falcon, I get grabbed more times per game than ever, like against anyone else. Yeah. He's just so good at finding every single one hits. I mean, he's just good at like reading when you want to like what's it called? When Shield or Oh wow, what a slide off. Yeah, yeah. He's just shielding for dear life right now. Oh, little baby board. <laughs> little jump up. And the Samus grapple stuff is crazy. Yeah. Stand or Managing to uh, sweet spot these. Oh! oh wow. Man? Ooh. Bad luck, bad luck. Oh, wow, that was so quick! Holy crap! Oh my god, what is happening? Okay. Maggot so doesn't take it. Oh my god! Oh, Sucker's not ready! Sucker's not ready! Oh my god, he's got no shield. Man, is he dead off this? No, no, no. Oh no, no he didn't tie it properly. He didn't tie it properly. Up tilt? Nah, no, okay, there you go. There you oh, go. That just killed like that. Surely he just dies really quick now. So that's, uh, oh, oh no. 4%, we take those. So much grapple. Oh my god, the, the Trixie's, oh the Trixie's, god, he he's still alive! He took no percent from that up here. That's, so, I'm, it's, Melee has like technically... It's decimals, yeah. yeah decimals. Technically has decimals, you don't actually see it. Ultimate is the first Smash game that I think has decimals. Yeah. Uh, four had decimals as well. Uh, that, that, that's 
That's cap, right? What's cap? Four did not have decimals. I, 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 I didn't think four had decimals. No. Um, chat, tell me if four had decimals. Okay, so ultimate, ultimate first have decimals, and also the first to not let you run through people, which sucks. Oh, that sucks so bad. Sucks so much. Anyway, back to Condolences to you, Ultimate. You guys have to deal with that. I, I, I that damn right, Double Harold. Damn right. <laughs> okay, look, even super even game. It is game three, though, so no matter what happens, you'll like likely be versing Sock on FD twice and like hating life. So yeah. it might be a bit of uh, inevitable. Ooh, the walk. The oh, yeah. SA boys, SA boys loving this right now. Little micro, little micro. Dude, did you see how he, he angled the missile up? He like did the missile and then baited the high side B and then whoop. Oh, oh he's out. And he's out of town. No, and he's, he's alive. alive. This is insane. Oh my God. Oh, he's gonna Will he get a decimal point off oh, the no, set? No sweet spot. Oh no, I guess it. But what do you do? Oh my God. He's gonna try to let one rip. I can feel it. Oh, my. I can feel it in my I, jellies. I puckered. Oh, shut it up. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wall jump. Oh, yeah. Oh, 10%. We take those. More oh, than this. Oh, 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 what a grab. Oh, my God. This is still okay, only game okay. three, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. That he grab would have hit. He had that him. grab would have hit. How does he get out of the corner here? Oh, Man. God, it sucks so good keeping oh. him in the corner. Oh, he's this doing, is it. He's doing the sock thing where he just wins. Oh, he's just winning. I hate it. Get him out. Oh. oh. He's a grabbing guy. Reads a jump. This he's so crazy. smart. He's he gets so like smart. Four damage for it. Why it's is he playing on a tier? He just really likes Metroid. <laughs> oh my god. I am. Oh, the down smash. Ah, oh, oh, that's it. it. Man, what a close. Close 3 0. That is, that's a close 3 0. I write that down. We'll write that down. Get that on the board. Um, oh, you will see, you'll still see more Nang's action in the bottom side. Mm -hmm. So don't crack it just yet. You'll He's be fine. still around. Do we know who Nang's is playing? Uh, Nang's in Losers is playing. Uh, once it's reported, we will tell you shortly, chat. <laughs> One more. He is playing Davox 22. Ooh, rough uh, draw for Nang. Is the rest of the tournament just SA except for uh, Goody and Sock? Goody and Sock are the two non SA people left. Goody taking off his medal. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, he's taking it all oh, off. Oh, he's taking it all off. A little bit of tummy action. What what shirt is he wearing? That's what I need to know. What does that say? Is that a little fox on there? I actually don't know. What is that? Is that a house? Is that a place? I just don't know. Is that a castle? Know. He's got his crazy frog hat. He's, he's feeling a little quirky. Okay. Let's see. I was warming Goody up for this matchup. I'm hoping hoping that he uh, feels confident. I did take the last friendly against him, so... Yeah, out. right? It sucks when you take the last friendly and then they're like, well, good luck <laughs> against the guy that's like better than me. All right, hello chatters, hello Kalindi, hello squad. Welcome to the Big Cheese 3. We are still playing there. We are playing in the second side of winners' semis right now. We have Goody, Victorian uh, Fox, if you're tuning in from somewhere not Australia. Victoria is bottom right of Australia. And SA Nick, who originally is from SA, being South Australia, being where this tournament hosted, but he's moved to Vic now as well. All right, so you people in the chat, uh, who don't know SA Nick might know him for one thing, right? And I'm gonna, I'm, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna squash this right now. Right. I'm squashing it right now. So you may have heard some, some, some stories from from what Lonwig Anda about SA Nick on the setup, you get. know, picking puff and, and making everyone not have a good time. But uh, this is um, a misconstrued version of the truth in which SA Nick got on the setup, picked Puff, and then once he saw everyone was like not enjoying it, wanted to leave, but was like, well, no, you can't just play one and then leave. <laughs> Nick is innocent, is what I'm saying. Rewrite the narrative. <laughs> and so we have that man, the man that was called out as um, not, not giving a good time to, uh, <laughs> to Ludwig Anda versus Goody Goodman Goody. Alright, this is a big game. We have uh, this. Oh no. 
We are starting on Pokemon Stadium. This is one of the semis. Okay, Crazy um, side B to do this what? early. It's still going. He oh hasn't landed. God. And dump. Oh my god. That Damn. is just a perfect start from Nick. Um, so both of these guys have fobs and both of these guys have fixed their controllers like today. today. They both yeah. like had just like little issues with their controller. I know Goody was uh, complaining to me about um, a few issues he was having with back throw coming out instead of up throw. And Nick's L trigger bro. Yeah, it just did yesterday. not work. <laughs> Um, but Dom Hines, the hero, went and bought a soldering iron this morning in a foreign city um, to fix their controllers. Yeah, crazy. So if, uh, if anyone needs a soldering iron, uh, hit up Skip SPM on Twitter. Hey, well. <laughs> um, historically and also present day, uh, Nick kind of known to, to Owen Goody to not really struggle in this specific player matchup. In the friendlies, in the sets they've played, it's um, Goody one of the, the fastest rising players we've seen in Australia in recent times has not been able to crack this one. It's a hard nut to crack. SA Nick is just like, obviously been playing for so many years. Oh my God. He's beaten Davos multiple times, Sock multiple times. Cannot seem to get a handle on SA Nick. Other than Josh Man, this is the one remaining bastion for uh, Australian Smash. We'll see. We'll see if uh, Goody's able to bring this one in like, woo, it's quick. So a good thing about Goody, um, good thing about Goody, is that he's always really fast with stuff like shine turnarounds and he's just quick out of shine and it's, it lets him play, like I was saying before, with Davox getting more options because he's like clean with it, it's the same thing with Goody. Yeah. Goody has really clean movement. Unfortunately, we, just, we don't really get to see much of the movement when he's getting up here 13 times in a row. Um, I realized that if I up air him, he can't <laughs> run away. <laughs> if I up air him, he dies. But... Oh, catches a side oh B. My God. SA Nick is a serial bearer. Yeah. He loves his forward air. It's SA Nick fair. He's up a clean one right now. Goody is so good at just like capitalizing on any like miss input from their opponent or like just any kind of scrap situation. He's so good at picking it up and turning it into like an obnoxious punish. 100%. To be frank. <laughs> that is very frank. Obnoxious. But we'll see. It's looking like Nick's doing a good job of snubbing it out and he's just playing clean as well. Ooh! Nick shaking his head a bit, rolls his eyes. That's like, okay. Yeah, that was just off a random shine. He just had the awareness. Most players, I'm saying, would miss that. Oh, what a crazy running shine. Didn't get anything off it, but it's scary. Oh, Martha. Oh, what a grab. What crazy. A... Dude, that shield was insane as well on catching the down air. Oh, he misses a conversion. Oh, somehow and... gets a grab. Oh, oh SA Nick does not get the follow-up. Oh, he did the, the side. Oh, oh, my God. The air a little stupid with it. Oh! That's game one to Goody. Oh my Crazy God. shine to catch that up B. Wow. That is confidence right Bam. there. Bam! All right. So, two straight to FD. That makes sense. That's just the stage. That's the that's the matchup. I'm sure Nick did not put, like, even a single, like... <laughs> yeah, there's no thought there. God, what is that? Yeah, SA Nick, um, you know, a bold choice. He is an FD Marth. What? One of the few. He's, a, he's one of the few Marths that are really just solid on FD. Gets, oh, he's just dropping numbers at the moment, but... Non-FD Marths are back, dude. You'd think in 2022... They but, are. Uh, Where's 2015, um, what's it QPU. called? QPU being a, like a, not an FD Marth, and I think it was also an F Tilt Marth was quoted at um, Apex. Yeah. <laughs> Which is crazy. Like, <laughs> you know, the last few Crike sets I've watched, he's not counterpicked FD the first time. Why? I don't know, he goes to like FOD or something. Like that. Is it so that you have FD as a counterpick later? What? Just win! That's what I'm saying. Just win the game now, and then do the other one later. What's the... Yeah, look, maybe because you just want that hard reset. Mm, maybe. And you need it, because like... Yeah, he's a right. big game player. He, he's got the, the long-term tactics. Yeah. Maybe he's just like, he's spoken to more people that know better stuff about brains than we do. I, I don't know if anyone knows more about brains than we do, Jack. That is true. We are the brain. We're, we're the brain oh man. Oh my god, to slight the eye into the shine. Okay. Up here. Where? Where? Oh, back here. Shine grab? Damn, Goody's playing clean! Oh wow, he got that little, like, man on stage and still slide back off to... Oh, I was waiting a second. I think, um... Goody took an FD game off, uh, Rupert earlier in the bracket. Really? You know, SA Nick, 
uh, a different beast, but um, he's not unfamiliar with the stage in the matchup. Not so. at all. Oh my god. Oh, wow. up air. That was the softest back air I've ever seen. Oh, he gets, oh, <gasps> oh, he gets around it. Genius. And wow, the kill. I can't believe he got around that. Yeah, so smart. Look, Goody's playing really good. Um, the issue is this. <laughs> Doesn't matter how good you get. Uh, <laughs> when you get grabbed, you get grabbed. You can only DI so far. You know, I'm sick of 1.0 DI. When are they putting in 1.5 DI? <laughs> yeah, DI's so good. Where's DI2? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You hear that WA people was DI. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, they just can't stop, won't stop. Down yep. tilt. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, what? Uh, oh, apparently, apparently you get around the down air. I thought he was gonna double jump back air, but he no, did no. not. Good he gives it to him anyway. He's like, no, 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 you got this one. Hey, look, that's, a, that's a hard reset right there. It's They're playing a best of three now. Best of three, where are they going? Dreamland, makes sense. Yeah, not much thinking got to be done in this uh, in this early part yeah, of the set when it comes the, to the stages. Yeah, bo both characters just have like a counter pick, which is just known to be like the counter pick. Like you prefer Dreamland, obviously, because you can't get up tilted as easily by Marth. Um, you can still get comboed. I remember when Spud first started doing the uh, the instant double jump um, land on the side platform yeah. to like continue a combo. Um, that was cracked. I was like, Martha's broken at that point. Um, I still think that, but it's okay. But this is starting out really even for both players. Ooh, I was expecting like a, a shield grab for sure. Oh. Yeah. Earlier, SA Nick dropped the tech chase because he was like waiting next to the, the mist tech animation and Wispy pushed Goody far enough that he could roll away outside of like SA Nick's reaction zone. Oh my god. I cannot believe that. Great man. What? He just gave it up. He was a bit of a he's silly Billy. He was silly Billy. That's fine. You can be a bit. You can be a bit oh, funny. No. A bit funny and silly on the setup. All right, that's no jump on the mark. Damn, Dreamland. No, yes jump on the mark. I am so foolish. Oh my God, Goody accidentally turned around. Oh, it's getting to the point where dash attack is just gonna. Thank, thank God. I was like, I'm gonna need one of these guys to kill the other one. Yeah, minute and a half in, but the thing is that like as soon as one stops taking, it's usually the next one very quickly because your percent is so low, you can tank a hit and just kill them. I think that was just a normal, normal kill. Honestly, yeah, 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 great cognizance of the high up beat. Just go out and do a weak fair. <laughs> Send them out instead of up. Goody's playing. Goody's playing nice. He's, he's making a few flubs here and there, but like this is winning semis of a major. It gets a bit spooky. I get that. I've never been here before. It's fine. Oh, what oh, a no kill! No Thank you, side Goody. platform. Goody up basically a full stock right now. Oh, but this grab is just going to be an equalizer. Just trying to. Shorten. That shortens crazy. Yeah, smash. He's trying to read another high side B, and then baits. The yep, yeah. He so he baited a, baited a high up B. Oh, so he made a high up B to bait a high side B, and then reacted to that. And, uh, Ooh, that, that grab in the corner is like a death sentence. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> it's the scariest thing. Oh, drill up to it. Oh no, up to it. That's okay. Oh no. Yeah. I hate I hate random rip uh, F smashes just leading to like spooky, spooky, spooky situations. But hey, you gotta keep them honest. Next Halloween costume is just white mask. Yeah, really. Oh. oh. All right. It's Goody's counter pick. If he uh, if he loses this, then he loses oh, game five uh, counter pick. Goody had the read. <gasps> oh, what a spot dodge. <laughs> Nick's cooking. Uh -oh. Jab up smash. Strongest move in the game, strongest combination in the game. Huge Ridiculous. for Goody here. If Goody can somehow claw this back. Oh my god, he's spaced so perfectly. Uh, Go high. You're full. Uh, he gets choices here. He gets choices. He has options. And, he has uh, a brand new car. Straight. Uh, <laughs> you really did warm him up. Uh, it's. Uh, <laughs> I would have done that. That would have been me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's alright. He's going up 2 1. We get to go to Pokemon Stadium, though. I'm assuming, but Yoshi's. 
I'm terrified of Yoshi's in this matchup as Fox because if you Wait, get like... Huh? They started Pokemon Stadium. I'm foolish again. Yeah, you are foolish. The, um, oh my god! Wow! Wave Slip and slide. Um, yeah, if you get tippered by Marth when you do like your tech out on the platform, you just die instantly. You get like evaporated. Yeah. So like it's a bit scary to do it, and so that's why you still have to do it sometimes, or else the Marth is just gonna know exactly what you're doing all the time. Yeah, yeah. But god damn it, if it's not still terrifying. Oh my god! The oh no, weak. Oh, oh no! no. SA Nook it throwing all away. went wrong. <laughs> throwing away that stock. Unfortunate. I, for one, think it is fortunate for Biddy. Where? Oh, that just Off kills. The top, yeah. All right, I guess so. Well. His last game, he's taking the Yoshi's. Oh my god. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> My life like flash beyond like before my eyes and I'm not even playing. Something about the oh. way the way Goody's playing, he just wants him dead. He's got the killer instinct. He just wants him gone. Damn. SA Nick making two two up B mishaps that have just led to him dying. Oh, is this another one? He just wants him dead. Jack. Three! That's three that have just happened on the right side of that stage. SA Nick, you do want to you do not want to stay on that side of the stage anymore. And that's he it. just wants to wow. kill him! Wow! Zai. I'm telling you, he just wants Ooh. him gone. Ooh. Game five. I don't care what it takes. I just want this math off my screen. Game five. Where's it gonna go? Four. No, no thought. That is straight into that one. I remember Deckard telling me once that he really likes Spod because he just expects that he knows more about the game and he's played more situations in the game it's because like of Fod platforms. <laughs> it's like the reverse FD, where it favors the more the better player. Oh, this is more experience. Oh. I think he has one more chance to yeah. just be like straight basic. Like, no, oh. Nick. Nick is dropping. Uncharacteristic. Is Nick feeling a bit of the pressure? Nick, and see, he, he didn't know the situation. The platform was too low. He didn't. I, I, I think Dekka would have hit that. Mm, he would have <laughs> waited for the tech. Uh, no run up tipper. Wow. Ooh, the scoop. The back scoop air. of the back air. Back so air smart. Woo. Okay, he has to just stop. He needs to stop just trying to brawl like that. Oh, the platform just messed Nick's up. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Down smash. Insane coverage. Oh, nothing. Oh, it's just it's it's just fear. It's, it's all fear. Everything is fear. Wow. Gets good. Great. Great spacing around the dash attack. Like dash attack as Marv is such a good move. It's ridiculously oh, it's good. And it's just like sometimes you just have to space around it and <laughs> hope for the best. Smash. No tip on, that's fine. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh no, never mind. Double fair. SA Nick. SA Nick combo. Oh no, he was right. Oh, oh my god. Deck, I would have hit that. The fade back. Depending on what happens next. Tech left. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, this is like, this is prime arthritis, right? Yeah. How? 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 Gerard. Check the disc. Check the disc. Gerard, are you watching? That side B was for you. That was. Pixel perfect side B, unfortunately. Oh my he did god! Eat shit. But, Man. oh my god, Goody's going crazy. He is racking up percent! Nick gets out of it. Uh, uh, oh! Doesn't kill. A few more percent off. Fox on this stage is so scary. Oh, oh he doesn't. Up air! Gets out of it. He needs to finish his stock out quickly. Oh, what a reaction grab oh, that no. was! It's FD, the platform's too short! <laughs> oh, okay, gets out here. He was just oh, taking just so rips a dash attack! Right, every day of the week. How's he out of this? <gasps> he missed the shield drop. X smash. No, not double fair. It's gonna be three stocks to one. Three stocks to one. We have to see if Goody is able to close this one out. He needs to just—he needs to get this stock and then just like just gimp Nick <laughs> over and over. Oh, I don't like the roll. Does get out of the ledge dash grab range? No, he's been dead. Okay, it's fine. I'll just kill him. Okay. Cool. I yeah, <laughs> just just end him. Just put him down. All right, we have get. Oh, oh what a read oh, by Nick! And no. now this is bad news bears. This is a bad news bear. <laughs> oh my god, he's so fast on those. Ninety-four percent, man. This oh, is looking like jump. a rough one. Double fair. Oh, no! and he gets it. There we go. Big Ken combo to close it out. I said in game wow. five over Goody, a lot closer than I think he would have liked.
Okay, guys, we are going to play a few ads now um, as we get into the lower side of the bracket here. We have Losers Quarters coming up next. Um, I am hopping off, so that's Zai done for the day, and we're going to get Microsoft J on to uh, finish this uh, top eight block off. We'll be back. Uh, yeah. See you soon. intro skip. I'm Frank Jerko from National Tiles. <laughs> Are we live? <laughs> Are we live right now? Hello everyone. Survival. My name is Microsoft J and we're about to get underway with the top uh, top six. Loser top six. side. Yeah this is it. Of the big cheese three. These are the uh, six strongest gamers in the room. Six most powerful indestructible gamers. 
but when they collide, you know, one of them, one of them goes home. We've got an SA Classic coming up. Uh, Samashik, Ruben, Aka Nangs against Davin22, aka Davox. Yeah, this is, um, I was saying earlier, this is a rough draw for Nangs here, I feel. Uh, at this stage of the bracket, you can't really be too precious about who you're playing against. You kind of got to yeah. beat everyone. Oh, yeah. But um, I don't know that Ruben has really beaten him much. No, I can't imagine he has. <laughs> I can't imagine he has. Uh, you know, the matchup is there as well. You know, Davin's kind of, Ruben's always in that, like, fifth place contender spot. Never, you never really see him yeah. in grands. It's Davin, a, though, has, he's had his share of grand finals at Australian it's majors. A, it's a top five versus a top three yeah, gap, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So we'll see. You know, Ruben's, uh, Ruben's busted out before. Who knows? Are we on F1 mode? F1 mode? Oh, my oh, God, it worked. It worked. Look at the graphics. We're underway. The name of the game is the Z button. If you're the little blue fella. And if you're the big orange fella, uh, I don't know what the name of the game is. Down button. The down button, yeah. I guess. I guess it's the only button you have. But yeah, stuff like that. Like, the way that you have punishes, you know what you're doing. It's just... You brutalize Samus and shit. What? Whoa. The edge of the stage there. Have you ever seen some something like this? That can happen with like Marth, uh, Marth story, Yeah, I've well. seen it with Marth, but yeah, never with really Shade. Maybe it's Sam specific. It's crazy though. So Ruben really wants to bulldog his way in. Because you can't really play the distance game against Sheik. Needles just fuck you up kill, way yeah. too hard. Yeah, it's a kill. Pick your poison. You get the slap you get kicked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, without any sort of lead, Samus has little in the way of game plans. Little in the way of uh, answers. Okay. Yeah, grab Logic and down smash. Yeah, d up there smart. Get right out of there. Yeah, the last Samus set we commentated, we were kind of just there like, man, this is hard. What do you do? What do you do with Samus? Yeah. And you win. You just, you pray, you hold down, you do, you know, you do good down smashes. You like Ruben sometimes hits the down smash button a little preemptively. And uh, you hope to, you hope to, you hope to God your reads are on point and the down smash lands. I was saying though, he is the grabbingest guy. Yeah, Ruben loves his grabs. I mean, you kind of have no choice. Samus, you know, shield pressure, unless you get crazy with the down bees. Yeah. And even then, it's kind of corny, so. You gotta keep him honest. This grab is an honest move. Mm. Yeah, grab, you can't complain. You should be like, yeah, I got red 14 minutes ago. 14, yeah. 18.5 frames ago. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. He needs to hit this charge shot in a clutch spot. He wants to regain ground. Grabbed him grab. as a slid off. I find Davin's one of the few people, Davin and Nick, I find the two people to really hit hard on slide off punishes. You know? They know what they're doing. They know what they're looking for. Wow, yeah, what a yeah, nice little jump. Looking brutal for game one. A, uh, an insurmountable mountain to climb. Unless. Let's see some Fuego combos. Okay, here we go. Some hot, spicy gameplay. Or unless we see Ruben getting up at 18,000 times. If there was no Fox in this game, yeah. Davin would be the best. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> in fact, I might say it's not true. In fact. Well, what do you know? <laughs> he did, uh, you know, if there was also, if, also if he was the only person allowed to play Sheik, <laughs> he would have done well in this tournament. You know, if, we, if he lobbied somehow, no, no Ditto, no Fox. Yeah, Davin probably oh my have god, just, yeah, just getting walking through the blue zone. The sour worm sneaks right under it. Oh, we have to watch the cutscene. It's okay. Oh, Whoa. dear me. Great the iron. Whoa, Ooh, cancels. No. Oh, the wall. It's brutal, man. The jab there. Ouch. Ouch. Ow. Counterpicks do exist. I think if Ruben's ever taken games off that one, it's right here. Yeah, Ruben, Ruben and Samus is in general big FOD enjoyers. I don't know what it is, Jordy. Well, you know, when the platform's low and you hit down on the C-Stick, sometimes you can hit them whether on the, on the platform or not on the platform. Mm -hmm. 
As well as hey, up B, go straight to the flat. Don't have to think about it really. Yeah. There's a lot of little advantages for covering. Yeah, you gotta you do a crazy, crazy thing. wall jump, tether. The reason this is Aaron fixes this thing. This A. Oh my god. Big charge shot. He's got another one locked and loaded. He's gonna win. It's gonna be off charge shots. It's gonna be off clutch down smashes. He is playing Samus. What a down In case you don't know, that's what the character does. Oh my god, Davin's getting kooky. Crazy with it. A bit of a choke, that's alright. Yeah, the re entry. Oh my god, he's getting spot dodge down smashes. Spot dodge. You know what I meant. Ooh. At this percent. You don't want to let uh, you don't want to let Samus you don't let Sheik. Oh, oh you had it let it rip! <laughs> he didn't have it. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh, wow. When you go to the store, our pain with card. Uh oh, I fill it up then. Oh man. He's got a game plan now, dude. Four kills, you know? Keep this dude out. With a, with a lead, there's a dream in this matchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without it, my, I don't know. Oh my god, he's just catching the Ruben is uh, Nangs, by the way. Kind of look cool like that, as, as the joke goes. Oh my god, catches the jump out of shield. Oh, catches, eats it. Oh, he gets tricked. You don't want to get tricked. You'd rather stay oh, on the trick. the crowd right hates that one. Right and yeah. Sheik at some point made a deal with the devil. She can't uh, beat Crouch Cancel, but she gets to edge guard Samus. You know, when you make deals with the devil, it generally goes in your favor. Yeah, generally. Generally the trade-off is the long run works out. Okay. Great CC. Samus is doing a... Sorry. Davin is doing a whole lot of hitting Samus. Yeah, which but is uh, not what you want to be doing in this matchup. No, no. You want to be grabbing Samus. Just hitting that cute little Z button on the top of your controller. Not many people know what that one does. You might think it fixes your camera angle. Well, th these days, you know, Z can do anything. You, if you, oh, if true. You your mind to it. Z is the, uh, the ever-loving button these days. I don't think... Uh, how many people use it up here, though? If anyone. Mm. Oh, my God. Big reverse fail. Yeah, this is... This is the situation you'd want. Stabbing, but not if you get hit like this. Oh, oh, there it is. You don't want to see. You don't want to have Sheik put her hands on you. <laughs> I don't want to see. Nobody put her hands. Oh, my character. Oh, oh no. air dodge. <laughs> Tries to air dodge onto something. Loses his stock for his trouble. 1-1. One, one. How did he win, man? I'm just still thinking he about hit it. it. He hit him insanely hard. Ready? He did hit him insanely hard and off. Yeah. Stock one is, is uh, dare I say, very important. It's probably in the top four most important. Yeah, stops. I would say it's up there. God. When he's moving like that, like it's bad news bears, dude. To move in on Sheik when she's on the platform, the sound is like, you turn out a board there, sure, but like, those little red balls don't do much. Unfortunate yeah, that for anything. the way you gotta play this as Samus means you have to play extremely limited. Yeah, I do remember one time, this was a while ago, um, Drug Fox talking about coaching Samus players. Yeah. And he just said that it, it was for himself, it was difficult to realize and just kind of swallow that depending on the character you play in certain spots where other characters have options, you just don't. Yeah. You just have to give up the space or take the space back or something. So sometimes when you see, when you wonder like what Samus can do, sometimes the answer is actually nothing. Yeah, but you know, Ruben doesn't need it. Sometimes for him, less is more. Oh yeah. Less is everything. Play these guys. Two, 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 two. Sneak his way back. Go to a crazy wall jump. That's high, okay. Oh, he die. Looks down to the end of Hail Mary Down Smash. I'm not sure if I like that. Yeah, this is the toughest spot in the world. Yeah. 
Okay, a max up. I don't know. Yeah, I'm probably gonna throw him out. No, just take sledge. Yeah, anything. Anything and everything is gonna kill Samus there. Yep, yep, yep. Skipper yeah, running out of things to say, man. It's, I had to break the fourth wall, but this dead air is not intentional. We got, we got to contest. I was comparing everyone to sea creatures yesterday. Maybe we could do that. Sea creatures? Okay, yeah. I think. So Davin's a lobster. That's established. Oh yeah, and no, I can see that. Yeah. That's, yep. yep. Yeah, no, no. I'm thinking. What do you think, man? What do you think, uh, Nangs is? Hurry up, man. Twenty seconds of dead air is not a good look. No, no, no. There's, chat gets the thing with us. Chat, all right, chat. Put a one in the chat. Just do it. Fall fun. Well, what do you think Ruben is? I think Ruben is in terms of sea creatures. Yeah. He's a he's a pesky seal. A seal. A seal. You know, not, like, not a leopard seal. I'm talking like traditional. Just a regular. Old. Regular old ocean seal. See, uh, I hadn't thought of that until he brought it up, but now I can't stop thinking about it. Oh, exactly. Yeah, they got they got thick skin. Those seals. You need thick skin to play Samus, I think. Yeah. But at the end of the day, no matter how high up the food chain a seal is, it always lose to a shark. And the lobster, apparently. Well, apparently a lobster. Can you crack as a seal, depending on the seal, can you crack the hard shell of a lobster? I don't know. I was about to find out who would win this war of... If Davin was like 30 lobsters, Okay, now that's just, I don't, I can't think of anything that would beat that. No, no one would, nothing would beat that. Certainly not a seal. No, no, no. Oh my, oh my god, brutal that's a reverse with claw. Brutal needle. He makes it back, we got walls out here. Oh my Whoa. god. We don't have our, no, he has his jump. Let's go grab ledge, all right. When every move is a read. How long does it take until you've lost your vision? Staying up too late. You become nearsighted. You can't see the forest for the trees. You can't see the pack of birds. Ruben's trying to read and then Davin's writing in Arabic right now. Yeah. Kind of seems like Davin is writing his eulogy. Uh, Eli is Ruben. The upbeat out of field. Oh, he's just yeah, playing. Big whip. Exactly. Like, you kind of have no choice but to go for reads, but at the same time, when, when they all lose the way you dash back, yeah. you have to wonder. You have to wonder if things have to change in the world. Oh, no. It's just like, yeah, it just seems like she can just wait for Samus to do something that's like... Committal, right? Yeah, committal, oh. and it's, it's just over. You sit back, wait for an overextension. That's funny time, the second you hit the Z button. Love me some money time. Yeah. Oh, he's gone crazy. Yeah. He's getting a little too good at it. Call spade oh today. my god. But, uh, the spade, if it were a set, would be over. The crowd, the crowd hasn't lost hope. The crowd coming alive. Oh my god. For Ruben. Oh See, now he hits the charge shot. God. Two more of those, we've got a game five on our hands. Fastest zero to death I've seen in a minute. It wasn't a spade. It was some sort of gardening shovel. He's reading, he's, re he's, he's learned Arabic in the time that, in the time since we said it. He's learned a new language. He's, he's been on Duolingo, he's 100 day streak. English wasn't working, I gotta read something else. Hopefully something uh, with a, uh, what's it called? Juan. Yeah, Roman letters. Ah, I see. A Romanized alphabet, that's what I'm looking for. Much easier to read for English speakers. Let's see up B. It ain't over. Keeps corner winning. Uh, one last hurrah here. No. Oh, Lucia oh, lost the grapple, grapple on that last one. He saw it come out. Sans grapple. That's going to be it for Nangs. Our friend Ruben out of fifth place at the Big Cheese 3 on Familiar, his home ground. Yeah, familiar territory for Ruben, fifth place. You'll obviously see him go further, but uh, Davin 22. A killer. He's, uh, he's going to be a problem for these players in the loser's bracket and maybe eventually the winner's bracket. Someone's got to tape up those claws mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. the big rubber bands. He's looking dangerous. Yep, yep. it was. he was game five. So now we got 
Young Goodman, the young star. With the Red Bull in hand. Red Bull in hand. Frog on his head. Could he not a frog, if I were to call him a sea creature? Not that I know of many ocean frogs. Not my sea creature knowledge is lacking, Jordy. I'm struggling to think of any creatures. You're gonna have to help me out. Mm. Well, Sock My Son's definitely a sea urchin. An urchin? He's prickly. His venom is deadly. Goody, though? I'm not so sure. I'll come back to you. Everyone, put a one in the chat. Goody. Maybe, maybe barnacle-esque. No, no, you no. You don't think it's barnacle? Far too movement heavy. He's, he's over here. He's over there. He's drinking a Red Bull. Where did he get it? Not from standing still, I'll tell you that much. What's a crazy moving sea animal? Hmm. He's, he's like, you know those, those fish that school in big schools? And they're really fast because, uh, you know, safety in numbers. Oh, so you think he's multiple guys? No, he's, he's, um... He's got safety in numbers. He's one fish, though. You can't be more than one. I'm sorry, Goody. He's one in the pack. Yep. If all the fox mains were a big school of fish. Mm. I think I don't like this answer. Yeah. We'll think about it. Yeah, we'll come back to you guys. I'm sure everyone in the chat is loving the sea creature discussion. Not like we're talking about much else, unfortunately. <laughs> This will be, uh, Goody's got something to prove here, but I think generally, from what I've seen today, I would give Goody the edge. Goody's been playing crazy. Game matchup. 5 with SA Nick. Been playing hard, he's been executing. Beat Davox. Beat, defeated Davin22. Slayed him. Like a fish slays a lobster. Now he's going to tackle with Muscat. And SA staple, another staple in Australian top 8's Muscat. Oh, yeah. Known for his consistency. Top, punishes. top three at BAM, top Perfect. six minimum at uh, Big G3, an Australian mainstay. Always. Never managed to break that glass ceiling though, can he do that today? Is today his day? To get into top two you mean? Yeah. Wow, that would be shocking. Imagine Muscat in Grand Finals. I for one, I can't. I can. You can? I can imagine, but I can only imagine him sitting next to SA Nick. Yeah, you think. You mean to tell me that Muscat's gonna beat Goody and then Davox, who we got 3 0 by today, and then one off Sock My Son or SA Nick? Stranger things have happened in that crowd. Is it likely? For Muscat to go on that crazy run like that? No. Is it possible? No. Let's go to here first, folks. Muscat out at either fourth, fifth, or third place. Donaldson's the VR Muscat family. He's got to get through Young Goodman. Uh, too short of the colors right now. Going to the overlay, we got orange for Goody. According to the overlay. So that could be, that could be anything. All right, Goody on the orange. Muscat on the neutral fox. Clean gameplay goes high, I like that option. I don't like to see him scrambling in the corner. He looks that. He looks that. One more chance here. Yeah. Chance getting racked up. Is he nervous? In the play cam, I see a glimmer of a lack of confidence. The opposite of confidence. But he's a competitor through and through, you know. He wants to win. He has to fire in his heart. And he loves the thrill. He loves the dichotomy. Winning, losing, he loves it all. Maybe yeah. not losing as much. No, you'd, but, you'd, um, you'd be crazy to love losing. When he looks flustered, I think that comes from within. I think maybe he uh, is feeling that he needs to, to pick up the gameplay. Very nice. Back to up smash, that new shit. Yeah. All right, big launch here. He gets the chase. Top lap, cleans it up. All right, snipes the jump. Ooh, I would like to see an Armada shine. Big Armadski's coming out. But he's ripping himself back into the lead. I was going to say, I would have liked to see an S fast shine, perhaps, where he does the um, mm. the double jump from ledge into the shine and then like slowly falls back to the ledge. You know what I mean? Uh, no need. But uh, no, just uh, cleans it up anyway. If I had he's to going again. Whether to choose Armada tactic or, or F -fat, F -fat, S fast tactics, I'd go with Armada. Hey, man, you, know, you already know I'm an S fan. Yeah. Member of the S Nation. Yep. Veggie hey, Power. I'm a, I'm a brother. Through and through. You're a brother? Yep. 
Hell yeah. No, I'm kidding. Sorry, Amara. Hey, I've been subbed to Amara several times. Of your own I, love the, I love those emotes. Turn up. Oh, turn up. Can, can, anyone with a UGS turn up, I would love to see it. Anyway, you UGS we go, turn up. My <laughs> we go, we go, Goody taking the lead after going down in this game, and uh, Muscat's really going to have to find something. Can it be a kill here? Waveland, tech chase. Great tech chase. Doesn't, doesn't kill, though. Kill. Goes high, doesn't kill again. One more chance. One more chance. Tries to go to ledge. And then anything can happen. Watch Dittos be crazy like that. But Goody's just so solid. Goody's so oh my God, hard tech. to interact with. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, spaghetti. Wait a minute. The crowd cheering, saying Goody is choking. Is it true? That was a crazy angle on the up tilt. Oh, must get so clean with the ledge dash, as you already know. He rolls Big out F smash. Always the, deal, the oh, deal. Oh, weak. weak back end. One more shot. No. Has made an angle coming in. Oh, cut. he's panicking. He's got to go plat here. Muscat misses. Doesn't go for a tech chase. Thought he read the slide Everything. off. Up from Goody. What's he going to do? Straight in. Nothing. Goes Roll away. Stage. Big fair. Oh, smash out of shield. No, he was going for the back air. He's got one shot. Ah! Oh, my God. Every well, he's gone low. He's going to shine him. No, he's he's going to shine him. He's back air. Oh my god, Can he's he got one hand. chance! He got his Muscat! The win was handed to him on a silver platter, but it was greased. And it slipped away. Oh my god, what do you mean? Tasmanian angle, man. Straight in. They love it. Oh my god. How did none of them kill the other guy for so long? Holy shit. Look, when the Jordan. platters are greased, sometimes the wind slips right out of your hand. Straight back to Battlefield. Interesting, Muscat, usually an FD picker, even in the Ditto. Yeah, actually, honestly, quite surprising. Um, yeah, we see him running it down, running it back. Having said that, going back to the start of stage is the, uh, the move of someone who's confident, the move of someone who's like, I know what I need to fix. It wasn't the stage. But it looks like uh, Goody's the one. Fixing it up right now, and there's the weak hit. Yeah, whether or not that confidence was uh, misplaced is yet to be determined. All right, finds it again, finds Texas again, double shot in the corner, the Muscat special. Goody not falling for it. Big man. He took that backing for his trubs. Oh, that big win. Uncharacteristic. Yeah, those drill resets, tough situation. Man, Goody's really cleaned up. Oh, yeah, neutral get up. Great option. Sneaks it out from under him. Oh, so clean Goody, with Goody's it. got a keen nose for when Muscat right, uh, dashes into the corner. Mm. And takes the space himself. Well, I like to see that. Not gonna kill. Not gonna kill quite yet. Great legend. And now Goodwin with another punish. Goes high for it. I like to see that. To ledge. No high again. Wow. Left and back is. Slide off. Just wait. Wait. Should have gone wait, to FD. Wait. This is, uh. This is the goodie show. This is brutal. To be honest. Invading your TV screens. Anthony Goodwin. I need to dox him like that. Yeah, you, you gotta wonder. How much that last stock shifted the tide to this set? Would we be looking at this had Muscat hit the back air on the edge guard? I wonder. I kind of. The thing is, Goody definitely wouldn't have run it back. I think. Yeah. Stage be different, but I kind of think Goody can shake it off. Yeah. And play like this, even if he lost game one. But you know, the universe will never know. Right now, he's putting in big work. Big work on, on Muscat. The universe tends to, uh, has a way of rewarding people who put themselves out there, who make themselves vulnerable. And Goody, you know, enters every tournament he can see and um, puts himself on the line. Hard is on the line. Of Hard on his sleeve, not afraid to say how much he wants it. And, uh, you know, it's working out for him. It's back air. Eh? Very clean by Goody. It's complete. Where are we going, Goodwin? Hmm. I mean, Muscat. Are we going to finally see the FD pick come out from Muscat? I wouldn't be surprised myself. 
Okay. Yobby's. Let's take it all up in his face. Ready? Go! Yobby's novel. What is that? Oh, I see. It's because it's like a story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put it one in the chat, you got the joke. I'm thinking, um. Right. Goody, Goody's like an. <clears throat> Goody's like an octopus, I think. Huh? Goody's like an octopus, if I had to say. An octopus? Yeah, like right when you think that you're at, like one of its other arms grabs you. Oh, yeah, there's no escape is what you're trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he can traverse both land and sea. That's right. Is it? Yeah, octopuses, they have a certain amount of land mobility. Okay. It's true. But their home is in the ocean, which is the whole, kind, of, like, kind of the whole point of the um, the analogy. Well, Muscat did a Melee big mistake like taking ocean. him to a stage with water in the background. That's... Yeah. Little does he know. Should have taken him to space, I think. Yeah, an octopus cannot survive in the vacuum of space. I think it, I think it would, it would implode under the complete lack of pressure. That's what I'm thinking as well, Jordy. You'd have nothing but a, a beak, an errant beak floating through through the vacuum of space. Not right now, though. No. Now he's thriving. No, he's thriving. He's eating well. Oh, oh my God! What a conversion! Ooh, so clean with it. Muscat on his last stock on yeah, the last stock of the tournament for Muscat. Despite how strong he looked in game one, on the verge of getting 3 0 out of the tournament in convincing fashion. Oh, I'm convinced. And I, for one, am convinced. Yeah, there it is. Uh, that was a shame. Wait, Not no, insurmountable. That, that, that was the wrong guy. The crowd jeering. Muscat take his time, but Goody says it's Goody o'clock. He's got no time to give. Lays on the pressure. Ooh. Oh! Oh! oh my god, he's a genius! The cloud! Ah, uh, he's so dumb. Very actually. nice, he's very nice. So um, Goody moves on, big smile on his face. Big win for Goody. Top four. Moving on for a rematch. Of the big G3 against uh, Davin. Against Davin. Yeah, yeah. He was a big winner the first time around, and now... Uh, but before that, we have yeah. the set of the tournament. The set we all wanted to see. Nick that curing his controller <laughs> troubles. <laughs> Now let me let me tell you, Jordy. Yep. Nick and Sock, <clears throat> they've been kind of dancing around each other. Can I stop you other. real quick? You can. You're spitting fire right now. Continue. <laughs> they've been dancing around each other. They've been skirting. They've been like, kind of like, will they, won't they? Last few tournaments, you know, they've been like, oh, we're gonna play. You know, we're gonna meet in the big grand finals, and then they don't. And then it's like, oh my god. And then he loses the goodie. And it's like, oh my god, uh, what is gonna happen? They're doing the whole, the whole, the whole goddamn. Yeah. Nick had COVID at bat. Sock lost the goodie at comp. Sock lost the Don B at Phantom. And now, finally, finally, the tangent lines have finally converged. At the uh, what's the what's the dance? Paradise under the sea dance. They've been That's staring. The they've been staring at, at each other from across the room. Nick's parents hit Sock with their car. And finally, they walk up to each other and say, "Can I have this dance?" S.A. Nick biffing Goody in the face <laughs> in order to spare Sokka son from his demon yeah. and allow this showdown to happen. A showdown of legends, a showdown of Australian monsters. And you know what? One of these two is going to win, but the yeah. real winner is whichever one of them wins. Yeah. That's how the tournament... Yeah, yeah, okay. Man, I was in your corner for a while. <laughs> you've really, you've really sunk the, you sunk the cue ball on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and we might have, I might have to get someone else up to, uh, to bat in the eight ball at the very end. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You know, you know, I love Skip and straight commentary. You know, duo. we we went. Uh, there's a there's a an AMF zone bowling right around the corner. We went, we went bowling with a big group of us, and there was Paul there, and they didn't have a cue ball. I saw guys playing later. They had a cue ball. So they were hiding it the whole I think time. you had to ask for it. Speaking of bowling, we'll, we'll wait for Davin to be on screen before we retail that story. True. But for now, SA Nick did lose to MSJ in bowling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Couldn't quite figure out the, uh, the medic towards the end. But I reckon he's, he's got a He's got a coy smile on his face. I wonder if S like the thing is SA Nick's style in melee is nothing like the style that I saw in bowling. At no. bowling, he ran he had a he ran a strength build in bowling. Yeah, he was like, hmm, I need to be doing what I'm doing, but more and better. 
Whereas in melee, he changes it up. The bowling ball was bit, the, the size 11 bowling ball is being yossed at full speed. But SA Nick's cool calculator. He's on, if, if Goody's a, no, if, uh, if Sokka's a body player, Nick's a mind player. Mm. Plays with his skull, makes good, makes good decisions. Hits like a truck with any luck. Uh oh, Tidba, Texas. Wow. Though. He takes the high one as that well. That is impressive. Great tech. Takes it down tilt. Okay, very okay, nice. Okay, very okay. nice by SA Nick. Whew. Scared for a second. Nick finds a knockdown. He's got him. Not so sort of cornered here. That is a crazy Crouch Castle grab on that mirror. 50% no less. Oh, yes, the eye. Busting out. I'm going to see it again. I saw it. Want it again, ledge situation. Like an urchin on the ledge, never to be underestimated. Oh yeah. He's prickly. If you need specialized tools, he's like the um the King DDD Gordo. Yeah, very urchin-like. Ooh. Shout out to Kalen. Wave dash out F smash. Oh my god, oh, does it again! Stupid. That 18% finds the grab as well. Can no, he slide off? No, there it Ops is. Going up to tech, finds the grab again. Wow, wow. Grab. Dude, Nick is on point. He's just getting around him. Oh, oh my! That tipper and that'll kill. Nick's looking at the homecoming king at the paradise under the sea. Uh, what a way to slide off. Yeah, great slide off. Not the, not the end of the world. And Nick was ready for it. He didn't get the maximum punish, but he got uh, something. Sokka potentially floundering. Great dash back to find the grab there. Oh, oh no. Tries to trick him. Simply up there. Very, very skillful. But this is a mountain to climb. 120 is uh, death percent. Yeah, gonna... Fox also right now is the best character in the game. I'm going to speak very quietly here. That's okay, no, 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 okay. players, but no, nice, 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 nice. Okay, the last time these two played, I believe it went to game five. I say Nick threw all three games. Last time he played at Easy League, where at the finish line of every game Nick could have won, he chose to jump deep off stage and to kill his own self. Oh, Nair forward smash. Sock rolling his eyes, he says, this bloody character. This fellow with the sword. If, if anyone's got specialized tools <laughs> to prey on a sea urchin. I'm trying to remember the name of a big, a big mouth fish. A large big mouth fish. Mm. I can picture it. Yeah. But I cannot, uh, I cannot ascertain the name, so the analogy simply wouldn't work. Great recovery by SA Nick. Let's shout up till the SA Nick Spesh. Back, uh, it's back, swinging. 50% is juicy combo percent. Great dash out. I feel like Nick is just not afraid of his corner situations at all. Yeah. He's uh he's confident. You gotta be confident and you gotta you gotta call your shots as Marth. You gotta wake it, make your way out of the corner because Fox is really gonna make it hard for you. He's gonna he's gonna sit there and he's gonna do a back air, he's gonna do an up tilt. Marth not a not a lot of gallant. Off the ledge, big launch. Off to send him off stage. Great reaction. CRT, baby. CRT. Cynic, one of the biggest, uh, one of the biggest uh, boons for him is uh, the his comfortableness of, of, on CRT. The advent of cathode ray technology. Cynic's unstoppable. Beaming, beaming rays directly onto light follicles. Ah, great okay. guy by Sock. He hits the crazy sweet spot. Oh, just nears out. Dances right around him. Oh, he had him. Speaking of dancing. What? Ooh, slide off side. Okay, okay. Bit of a mistake judging from his facial expression. I love expression. coming down with nothing there. All right, needs a grab. Triple bumble. Potentially not dead. Ah. Sock, great awareness of the situation. As he rolls his eyes a bit. <laughs> I think it's a wolf fish. Wow. That was very wolfish by SA Nick. It's like a beaked wolf fish, and they prey on sea urchins. Anyway, put a one in the chat if you can Google that for me. Ooh, right. not dead. Yeah, Nick's, Nick's, not this dead. is potentially up smash percent as well. He's got no, no. resources. Oh my god. Oh, get up. Oh. Ah. Spends it to try to get back on stage. That's all right. That's a Nick nods his head, not shakes it, nods it. 
He's nodding his head. He's like, yeah, I'm thinking that was bullshit. <laughs> and here we go. I think I should have won that the one. Great equalizer. The great purple hexagon. Oct what? I can't. Hexagon. Here we go. The big Octagon. chain grab in the sky. Yeah, there's, oh. eight, there's eight of them. Yeah, there's eight of them. Eight sides, two players. Oh my god. One one victor. Sock is looking slippery right now. It's easy to be, you know, there's a lot of room to run around on this stage. But the second you get grabbed, the second the, the beef wolffish has you in its sights, you can end your stock just like that. He goes way down there. Uh, and he lives, wow. No one's ever gone that deep. Yeah, that's uh, Kareem DJ-esque. Um, yeah, keeps the juice on the side B, but no, Yuppie's high and he knows it. Yeah, Sox really got to do what he can to not get grabbed here. And oh, dear me. He did high. not what he could. Commentator's Gus. Oh no, that he's got a fob duty. How was that 1.0 DI? The 1.0 DI, he gets out of that. I think that legitimately might be true. All right, the micro step. Oh, fair. I think he's got, he kept his jump. Great reaction again wow. by a Wow. That is so unassuming, but so unbelievably impressive. Reacting to the first side with the fair and then just snapping the ledge. He's desperate though, he's mashing on spot dodge, smashing on crouch cancel. Ah, oh, uh, he knew, dude, he knew. He didn't delay it enough. That's all right, down there on shield's pretty damn good. Okay, nice right, wave dash. dash. Dude, dude he's up counter. He's insane with these fairs. Yeah, they're actually so on point right oh, now. Just, and just as we say one. that one reverses, that's okay. You keep advantage. Oh, okay, okay. snipes the roll in. Right, can he not get grabbed this time? Yeah, I'll throw Tibber. <laughs> he almost got grabbed. Come. He dodged it, you know, he dodged the grab. He said, I don't want nobody put our hands. Nobody put our hands on my fox on the cloud. Oh my god, the football player. <laughs> oh oh my, my, oh my no, no F-Smash, just obviously takes the damage. Huge win, what a call out. That's gonna kill. Oh god. Launches himself into the lead of the game on FD. Would be huge here for Sock to get a win. Grabbing. Oh, Nick. Sorry, right, finds the ground. Oh, I don't know what that was. Struggling to kill as Marth. There should be a phrase for that. I think it's called Marthal Tunnel Syndrome. Yeah, that's the one. But there it is. He is cured. He wore one of those sleeves. All right. If you're Nicky, you'd love to see a grab, but if you're Sock. If you're Sock, you'd love to not get grabbed. And you'd love to keep hitting Marth. Oh. There's the grab, though. Marth's Pivot putting grab hands. As well. He's putting hands. Sock oh, SDIing no. for his life. Spot oh, dodged. No. Spot dodged. Reverse. Wow. Wow. Reverse wow. No, he's back oh, oh, no. no. He's not dead, is he? No. Clutch. Sock's laughing. That's Clutch an eye roll stuff. from SA Nick. He's like, oh. What was that? The dog character can just close but no cigar, unfortunately. Ready? Go. And we're right back to it. Winning the first FD after losing yeah, game one. That's, that's the dream. He's mashing, I can hear it from here. Oh no, dude. Oh no, dude. Is he, saying, is he faltering? At the finish line, does he falter? Wow. Or does he stand upright? And so you're gonna SDI in, I'm gonna hit you for it. Great coverage. No, 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 no. What is happening right now? A couple of gimmies. Yeah, I feel like we haven't really seen. Maybe. Oh, what is I this? I, I feel like maybe Nick knows Sock can get around the counter, but at the same time, the counter would be working in these spots. Ooh. Get up, Nick sneaks around it. Yeah, yeah he's, uh, so that's a flub on the fob. Okay. SA Nick. Because the SA Nick combo keeps it safe. That's all right, that's all right. This is he the jump. is in his own head right now. Might be in his own head. He's been missing a lot this stock, and he knows it. But he needs to clean it up. Because he's got this. He's been playing great this set, and look at that. He was just hitting these side Bs. Anything he, can happen. He dodged a side B from ledge. He can definitely do it. My tongue's in my throat cheering for SA Nick. He lost his jump, but he finds the ground. Dude, the tension of the room is kind of, dare I say, palpable. Yeah. If you had a butter knife, you could slice right through it. It's a Nick hometown hero. The crowd would love to see a Nick win. Oh, I that cannot is... believe he grabbed it. That was a smoke up to your side B. I cannot believe it. 
I've seen some low side Bs in this top eight, Jody. None as low as None that. None as low as that. Not at this stage. Great confirm. Check the disc. Somebody check the disc. Fox McLeod. Uh-oh. All right, matches out up tilt. Mark Speciosho. Wow. You got to push advantage, Nick. You can't let him run around you, Nick. Suck my son is the, the most slippery bugger known to man. Oh, great shine stall. Great landing option. Oh, no. A DI in too far. Oh, oh, Nick misses his dash back and he knows it. No resources. All right, lands on stage. Great nice. stuff. Right off side, side B. Lovely. Reads it. Oh, no. He's got to feel the fire, dude. Dodge. Great, great shield. <laughs> cheese him coming from the crowd. The crowd yelling for a cheese. Senek so ups the up throw and instead he's he is going to be reckon. dead. No, he can. No, no, sir. Sox looking poised, man. So poised. To punch his ticket to Grands. What do you got, Sox, my son? What do you got off this grab? Keep it simple. Keep it safe. The ring of power. Wow. Means not letting Mark SDI. Yes. Panic spot Confirms. Dodge. A humble pop off. And SA Nick is in the loser's bracket. It's a big win for Sock. Nick coming in as the number one seed of the tournament after recent results. However, has yet to find a win against Sock in their last at least three meetings. Yeah, I think I think we like to think Nick has the edge, but at the end of the day, the results show a story. A tale of Sock slaying SA Nick. Sock dominance, dare I say it. But for the next for the next set, we have a rematch from winners. You might have seen this set. Uh, I'm not too sure what the results were. Do you recall? Uh, so Goody won a big game five over Davox in winners. A huge game Which five. Which is uh, also Goody's third win in a row against Davox. A demon. Twice in pools at the... Uh, demon in line. The crazy Invitational. And then... Uh, Right here at the Big Cheese 3. Gavin also losing to Rizal in pause, another formidable Fox player. Also Melotech. Yeah, there's, there's... Well, and where's Melotech now? I don't see them. I don't see them fighting Goody. So yeah, Devon went on an impressive uh, run after beefing his pool. And that's just the Davin, that's just the Davin storyline. He did the same at Easy League, beefs his pool. Wins anyway. You know, it goes on a crazy run. And Davin's a focused fellow. Killer. Like a lobster. I don't know of any lobster species that prey on, uh, on sea urchins. Davin can be the first. I think lobster versus octopus is a really uh, fair fight, actually. Yeah. Because, you know, if you snip off the arms... Yeah, yeah what, they, what the uh, what the loss of lacks in arms it makes up for in um, claws. You'd have to crush the shell like Matt Smith crushing a glass. Yeah. You'd have no choice in the matter if you're a That's just a disaster lobster. for everyone at that yeah. point. If you're an octopus, you'd have no choice. I know Davin puts in a lot of work trying to uh, work on an edge guard flow chart. He's a, he's a big flow charter when it comes to edge guards against spaces. Uh, has been struggling a bit, I've seen. Goody has mixed up his recoveries a lot in the last yes. uh, year or so, six you, months even. Used to be a big problem point for Goody. Kept doing high side B, but these days he uppies. He goes high, he goes low. He also used to be a low up B guy, and then as Sheik, you just grab ledge when you like get them off, and then that's just the Goody slay on. Yeah. But, um. Oh, oh my God, what a conversion. Let's grab for his trouble, though, forward throw. Snipes the back here. You can't get away with that, Goody. You can't. He knows it, though. He knows it. He says, that was Lazy Bears. Ooh, down smash. People, people got to bring back Wave, da wave Shine Down Smash. Up to tech, baby. Yeah, but you know, if you're not expecting it. It does have a surprise factor. It does. So look at Goody's face right now. He's getting, he's getting the sun. He's getting vitamin D. He's catching rays. Vitamin D a la carte. 
It's beaming okay. knowledge directly into his, into his beaming, skin. Yeah. Sun God Aztec knowledge directly into his skin. How's he playing? Um, by moving his head slightly whenever the, the beam hits his eye. Go play again. Davin's just trying to trying to cover it all. But unfortunately, you have to make a call at some point. I suppose unless it's uh, unless you're in the clutch. Yeah. It ain't that big of a deal. Okay. Goes for the down throw. It's so noble. Okay. Honest down throw tech chasing gameplay. Just gives it up. Can we get the shutters to close? Because the screen, oh, yeah, like, yeah, the sun yeah. is in, in video. Uh, okay, can we, uh... Here we go. <laughs> We're getting uh, a TO on deck to potentially close the shutters. As the sun goes down, it does come directly into the venue. So sit tight, folks. Sit tight. I didn't call it. I didn't say, how is he playing like that? Turns out he wasn't. Alternatively, we could have a man stand behind. We could the angle setup. the setup or move it closer towards the wall. Have a guy stand there with an umbrella for the players. Is what I'm thinking. Sit tight, find people of the internet. Hey, Jack. Problems have solutions. No, no, no. Can you? Can you buy us two waters? Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you very much. Get like with bottles? Can you yeah. Can you give me a get can you give me a Gatorade? Can you give me a Gatorade? Gatorade. Water and a Gatorade. Thank you. Anything that's not the Arctic one, I already had that. No Arctic Gatorade. I got a Gatorade delivery on the way. This is huge for us. It's uh, it's warm today, and uh, you're gonna stay hydrated. I've redeemed the the hydrate channel point reward. You all have to take a sip of water right now. Put a one in the chat if you're hydrated. Put a two in the chat if you're drinking Coca-Cola all day. Actually, I've been drinking a lot of Coca-Cola. You want you want to tell me a story about the the? I will tell. We have a bit of time to tell them. Yeah, we got a little bit of a break. So last yet. night, you know, we did the whole tournament thing. Everyone goes to a nice a nice little pub for a feed and a bev. And uh, I get there a bit late. I go up to the to the fine lady behind the desk and I say hello. Hello, fine fine patron. You know, I'm a fine patron. Can I please get a Jack and Coke? And she says, how many glasses? And I say, mm. not the usual question. You have to order a Jack and Coke. I said one, one glass. She puts a glass in front of me. She comes back with a pitcher of Coca-Cola. And I say, wait a minute. I, I start panicking. She's already poured the Coke. She heard a jug of Coke, and not Jack and Coke. Tragedy struck the MSJ Nation. I had no recourse. So you know what I did? I took the jug to the table. I said, boys, there's been a mistake. If you'd like some Coca-Cola, please feel free. And then, I got, and then I got up and I ordered a uh, Jack on the Rocks. And I made, I made light. I made good of the situation. Combine sugar, spice, and everything nice to make the drink of his dreams. Yep. Uh, Unfortunately, you know what though? Goody, Goody in particular enjoyed the hell out of that jug of Coke. I think I had two glasses, maybe. I don't, I'm not a big Coca-Cola guy, unless it's with, uh, unless it's part of the, the drinking experience. Goody must have had four. Yeah, Goody's a huge Coke guy. He had a Coca-Cola glass with him. Yeah, he had a nice classic Coca-Cola glass. Um, in terms of the light, I do believe we are getting that sorted out. For those of you who are wondering, is it closing yeah, now? The glare is not quite coming through. Yeah, they're closing now. It's getting darker. Oh my God, I can see them. At least until the sun fully goes past the um the uh, what's it called? The zero point horizon. Oh my God, Goody's still still kind of getting known. Oh no way! Come on, Goody. I don't want to hear no jams. No, this is totally fair. I can see it from here. Okay, now it's gone, right? I think now it's good. I don't see anything in his face. We're ready to right. launch. Okay, what's the scoop? I'll get the mic to Kai. So the only way the shutters close is if we turn the aircon off. I've 
let them know about that. Um, but it should be fine for the remainder of the tournament, and then we're good to go. Can we potentially have that door open to let some air in? We'll be getting the side door open in just a moment. Kai is a legend, by the way, for sorting this out for the players. Hell yeah. Shout out to KB Kaiser, streamer, problem solver, Falco player. At the counter pick for uh, Anthony Goodwin, Aka Goody. No, wait, no, wait a minute. Who's FD? Oh, how did that miss? How did that miss? You know, I really genuinely think this stage, as hard as it is, she has a couple things she can do that are exclusive to this stage that are really good in this matchup. Name them. Full hop back air without having to worry about landing on oh. the That's potentially another one. Sneaks right under it. Limbo. Wow, what a grab. Off in there, maybe. Yeah, full hop back air. Exceptionally good. This Mine's a chase. Davin's looking really solid, dude. Really strong. We're seeing Sunday Davin. Yeah, gives it up. Not the worst thing in the world to give up. You'd love to see an edge guard, but at the same time, as was, Anthony uh, Goody, you'd love to see a jab up smash. He took a deep breath because he knows he did two regular get ups in a row. Yeah, you gotta get that sorted out. Scores wow. are correct. It is 1 0 to Davin. Wave shine confirmed. No, sir. Waits for the. I've been handed a, a very chill. What do you think, man? Very chill. Pretty epic, man. I'm being told I'm very chill. I'm a, I'm a usually a red slash pink drink enjoyer. If there's ever like a Gatorade or like a soft drink. I kind of like, you know how like in nature nothing is really blue. Yeah. Very few blue things. That's why the allure of blue Gatorade is so intriguing. <laughs> man was never meant to have blue. No, Gatorade. man was never oh! meant to drink blue. But we defied God and started drinking. Blue, much like Gavin is drinking the blood of his enemies. Man was never meant to tech chase. And yet here we are. Oh, man. Not man, like you know, this. Man was meant to ledge dash. Unfortunately, Goody looking like a sea creature. I'm rethinking the whole octopus thing. You, you are? I'm thinking squid, maybe. Are we still in mollusk territory? Or have we moved up to vertebrate? Maybe a squid could work like a... Maybe he's a clownfish. Maybe he needs the cover of a, of a sea anemone, or else he's in the open ocean. Where enemies like the lobster assail you and hunt you down. I like that, I like that. Clownfish goodie. Because he's, you know, he's smiling. Does he know any jokes? Wow, what a needle! Oh wow, send it back off. It's a bad counter here. I'm gonna put the mic down so I can open my gator in. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. I can't believe it. Oh, it goes for an F tilt. It's flanks with the shine. Letting the gameplay speak for itself. Goody cleaning it up and then, oh my god, Davin finally. So something that was happening to him against, uh, I believe, who was the fox he played earlier? I have no idea. I've lost it. Was that they would tech his fares. And he wouldn't like dash in and cover it because you kind of got to like be ready for it and like immediately be dashing if it's from the other side of the stage. And he covers it there. I return. God, I drank so much Gatorade. Trying to bulldog his way, he's trying to stay alive with the big cheese three. This is potentially the last game of the tournament for the young gun. Oh my god, here we go. Oh, what a dash, what an overshoot, what a down air, the double spears, Woo! triple spear, and Goody correctly DIs the up air, it goes to ledge, what an ankle. Uh oh. Oh no. There's no chance, straight in, no. Oh, it goes low, I don't know what that down smash was. Great shield. Flops it, Goody knows it, shakes his head. He's got to dig. He's got to dig deep into the sands of the ocean. Wow, very nice, very nice. Keeps it even, keeps it respectable. Ooh, oh dear, no. Clank. So hard to be ready for. Oh my god. Yeah, nice, nice by Davin says, hey, get up. Wake up to yourself, Goody. You think I you think I need to tech chase? 
Hell no. <laughs> Love that forward air. Good man, jump. wake up. <laughs> wake up, good man. Wake up, good man. Wake up. He's woken up. Final destination, good man. <laughs> He's also dead. Good, his last this stock, unless he can make not a miracle, but a standard zero to zero winning situation happen. Oh no, this is a shine control. Is he flubbing? Okay, oh my god, so smart by Davin. What a boost grab. He's tech chasing. He's doing it. Wow, what a, another great boost grab. Look at my boy go. He's... Is this a clean punish? Oh! Begging. Taunting Goody say drop through. Drop through, I dare you. Uh oh, don't get shy. Oh, no. We're alive, we're alive. Oh my god, how? There's the launch. How? There's the launch. There's the trade. Oh, Davin going. He can, he can make it back. Oh, He's got to no. jump back. I, I saw him land. To ledge? He, oh, no, another missed ledgy. Ah, tragedy, oh, tragedy, tragedy, God. tragedy for the young gun. Big claps all around. Big claps for Goody. He put up a hell of a fight, dude. Hell of a fight. He's making Smile a smile on his face, but it hides a uh, pang of pain. It seems like, Jordy. Yeah. Speak. In the absence of uh, a Josh man, a new big three has emerged. Interesting. Speak Indistinguishable to that. from each other. You've got the blade, SA Nick. The blade. The the spear, Davox 22. I'm like I'm liking the weapon analogy. And the gun. Sock my son. No, no, Goody's the gun. Goody's the gun. Sock is a shuriken. The shuriken? He's got an anime profile picture, I can tell okay, you that. Well, much. If anything, Davin would be the shuriken, because no, that's actually no, kind of a better no. word for needle. Than spear. Did you see those down? David is a spear, dude. He goes in a straight line. He does the lax down there. Yeah. I mean, that's Nick. The blade is like, you know. Anyway, there's three of them. They play different characters. They're all sharp. They're all pretty good at you the game. You should not. I'm not going to say that. And they can all beat each other. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Uh, yeah, there is, you know, in, uh, you know, realistically though, apparently in real world history, swords are terrible. I think I figured out. What it is. No, no, no. Yeah, I think I think you might have you might have worked it out. But anyway, on the next point, swords are terrible, and spears are, are so OP that they dominated the Middle Ages until gunpowder was like readily available. It's times like these, I curse the Chinese for inventing gunpowder. Yeah. I don't know where to take that. Sorry, that's a <laughs> that's a Nathan feel the head bit. Ah, <laughs> very nice. Nick's taken the hoodie off. He says, "Sure, it'll be hot in this venue." Hopefully, the sun. Hopefully, we can speed up the sun going down. But uh, I think these players would rather play in the heat of the moment than with the glaring sunlight in their eyes. Yeah. If you had to choose, if I had to choose, yeah. between melee in a sauna versus melee in like a supernova. Yeah, my word. I'd rather slip than be blinded. Never, never to see again. In terms of the personal history of these two, uh, Nick has a shining winning record, but not without spots. Yeah. At Easy League, uh, Davin did take one of the first sets he ever took. Oh, oh. no. Oh, no. I believe it was the first set. Yeah, it might have been the first set easily. So that would have been the last major outing. I think at locals, Nick kind of showed, reared his head in order to tell Davin, like, hey, I'm the big dog. And then, um, and then entered back into the, the cave of Path of Exile. They, uh, they didn't play again. They haven't played again since then. Davin's got the last win. Oh, is that true? Because he lost to Josh Man in winners finals and Not even at a local. Huh? Not even at a local. Well, maybe. Neither of them really go to locals, and Nick moved here pretty soon afterwards. True saves. I mean, may maybe they did. Maybe they played maybe. at a local. Regardless, of national level. Regardless, Davin at a local is a different. He really is a different person. Oh, yeah. so I, I truly believe Sunday Davin is is what has one of the biggest gaps between you know day one play and day two play. Um, so at their last outing, for all intents and purposes, Davin did take it. Mm -hmm. Nick uh, says this matchup is borderline unwinnable for, for the man with the sword. I tend to disagree, but he hey, is capping. He is. He might be capping. 
It is tough, though. Realistically. Uh oh. Right. Nick holds his ground there. I like that. Gavin kind of overcommits. Kind of tournament winners. Nick nares his way in. That's the, uh, the don't quit your day job now. Yeah. I know Nick, uh, his day job involves getting injected with mysterious substances and being paid for it. I won't, I won't speak any further on that. <laughs> Nothing illegal. I can tell you that much. All on the books. Oh, yeah. And what a book. Oh, my God. No grab off those needles. Finds the grab. This needs to go far. Ends up going to 47% or less. Nice no jump. jump. Yeah, lands on stage. Not a huge amount you can do to really kill Mark there. Wow. What a needle. Davox launching himself into the lead. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nick's really good at the SDI. He needs to find his focus here. He needs to find a, a game plan, anything. He needs to hold on. Okay. Yeah, rolls his eyes, he says, here yeah, I go grabs. Ooh. Time to eat a forward air. That's likely game one. Nick knows it. Davin swagged out for those last two stocks. Yeah, Davin played it really, really well. Are we are we thinking Puff Dreamland? Davin says, I'm playing friendlies. I'm, I'm rotating with the next guy. Let me mash A real quick so he can turn his controller on. Oh, yeah. Just grabs yeah. it. Yeah, that's brutal. If Nick goes down... 2-0, maybe we see Puff Dreamland, but the Jimmy Puff has not been putting in work this tournament. Mm. I will say one thing that's happened several yep. times already this set. Um, a lot of Sheiks like to go for Needle Grab. A lot of the time, it's not it's exactly fake. true. It's, well, yeah, from far away, you know. It's, it's not very true. And Nick is really good at getting hit by the Needles and then immediately spot dodging. And uh, uh, the grab will often miss, he'll get a grab of his own. All right, too low percent for that weak back, gonna do much. Hans text there. Not too sure what else, what else Nick could have done. He kind of just had to take his 15% and go home. Oh, no jump. Oh, the tricks. Yeah, very, very ambiguous. Well, not super ambiguous, but ambiguous enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fakes out the ledge. Oh, wave dashing grab. Nick is just getting hunted down. Damn is sinking his claws into him. One thing Nick complains about. You can't kill this character. Can't kill. And sometimes it's true. You have to work real hard for that one. Yeah. You know, regardless of who you say wins, how hard it is, Marth does have to work to beat this this slippery ninja. She's a toughie. He's got to work, work, work. There's the grab. He sees it though. Here we go. What you got, Davin? Great tech. Nothing off of it. Uh, okay, here we go. Nick Ops, Nick's keeping him in the air. That's the name of the game. Try to snipe a jump and then take it as far as you can. Oh my god, just runs up. Wow. Yeah. I like that option. Ops are forward out. Oh, no, he whips. Is... It up anyway. He finds it though, he finds it. He's not having a good time, let me tell you that. No, Nick is not having fun. That's fine, you can take a second hit there, unless you get grabbed. Nick's keeping his eye on it, man. Whenever Davin's in the air, Nick's, Nick's ready, and oh. huge combo! Crazy punish! That's insane. Who says you can't kill this character? Look, man, specifically if you take the jump, and you get enough forward airs, you can do anything. Yo, wait a minute. No, that weak, that weak upper is the bane of Nick's punish game right now. Every time he lands, Davin gets out. There it is. You bait him, you get him to... That's the PPMD, dude. Yeah, yeah. You bait him, you get him to up B high because he sure, thinks you're going you're gonna to try to hit him. You have to smash the high up B. He, uh, he activated something in those last two or three stocks. Let me tell you, he went from being the not killing this guy He submerged, all time he submerged his guy. miscellaneous nuts and, um, and activated them. You know, among them, almonds perhaps. Can you activate other nuts? Oh, are we ready to talk? Are we ready to have this conversation? Look, you all ain't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> I but know. your kids are going to love it. Yeah. To be honest, I've never seen something labeled as like an activated cashew or an activated <laughs> can. Do you have to um, de-shell de a... Um, 
a pistachio to activate it? Is there such a thing as an activated pistachio? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> the many mysteries of the universe. How is Gatorade blue? Can you activate a pistachio? Can Mark defeat Sheik? We'll get one answer. Yeah. I mean, at least. Nick playing it safe, delaying his buttons. I like that. Keeping things not obvious. You don't want to be obvious, you know, Skip? You know that? Um, that's a good point, actually. I should think about that. Yeah. When I play Melee. Just living. You know, someone who, uh, who had, did not shy away from being obvious was uh, Noxus, aka Cody, who would. Um, Verbally call out the, the name of the move that he was going to do before he would do it. Yep. He would yell, charge shot. And then he'd hit you with it, and it would hit, and you'd be like, well, I have no excuses. I should have seen that one coming. Should have seen it coming, man. It's he, would, uh, he would Mario Kart DI his forward smashes. <laughs> that shit was funny. He would also say Randall, uh, regardless of where Randall was on the stage. Randall, to Noxus, Randall was more of a feeling yeah. than an actual game mechanic Feeling on Randy. Story. Yeah. Nick, got the corner control. He's looking good. He's looking good, but you can just... Dash attack's hard to, hard to dodge. Hard to dodge when you're, when you're short up being like that. He lost his charm, finds the ledge. It's fine there. You can, you can just cop the platform situation. <gasps> what a whiff punish. My god. Tight stuff. <gasps> hey, Dies away. Love that. On the ground, getting slapped. <gasps> roll behind. Oh, what a roll. Are you kidding me? He's an instant double jump. Nyx doesn't give it to him. He's alive. Big dammy. Man, that, you know, he could have weak F's, but anything he done would have got a arm to take, probably. It's kind of hard to space against the, uh, you know, the chain. What do you do? You know, it's such a rare situation. Wow. Chain comes out. He still has his jump. What is Accidental wall jump, I guarantee you. What an ambiguous recovery. It's not quite sure where he's going, platform or not. Um, oh! himself. Davin covers it with what he can. He does the semi stall, but he doesn't. He doesn't commit to it. He rolls up. He doesn't commit to the semi stall, and that's going to cost him. Oh dear. Oh dear. Go down till Nick not giving Nick, it to him. Nick doesn't want to see Davin put so a hands. Insane. I don't want to see nobody put a hands. Nobody put a hands oh on the Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> what, a, what a shot up, dude. What a backflip. Nick's playing so well this stock. Yeah, he's really he's really trying to keep it keep it tight, keep it safe. 81's a decent chunk to put into that. Uh, to put into the Sheik, and if you can get just like a couple more openings for the kill, on, then Nick. that's going to be really big. Start making faces. Start putting on the herd. If you want to make this comeback. Takes the ledge. <gasps> oh, oh my god, oh. dash. You haven't held forward for 20 years. Nice Ooh, neutral B. Good, oh, wait. All right. Huge for set momentum. It goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. He comes Devin. Slide <gasps> off on the down air. Just barely say with it, the spacing. Say it. Say it for the people in the back. Game three is. Uh -oh. oh, game three is in Davox's clutch. Gonna grab it. Who wants it? I was terrified he was gonna get clipped by the upbeat, but Devin knows. Nick shaking his head, scared. wondering what can he do. No, FD dude, he mashes, he mashes the start button. Take an FD ASAP. I don't know if I like that. I say, Nick, take a breath. Breathe right into your duadnum. <laughs> you I will say, um, yeah. Dreamland was the pick by Davin, and he stuck Marth. He did try Puff earlier I love, in the set. Yeah, I love, sure in the day, sorry. I love Nick sticking to his guns. I also do. Nick's a Marth player, dude. I think he would have had he not tried it against McLeod earlier today after winning game one and lost. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think the McLeod game was a bit of a test drive. Uh, I don't know what's Nick pointing at. It, it's it's kind of Nick's dejected. Maybe a done oh deal for the God. set. Davin looking very honed in. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this, this is grim tidings. Grim I tidings. I can't believe he didn't get hit out of that for the entire time. The rubber bands around Davin's claws have been unsheathed well and truly. And Nick, despite being a specialized wolf fish hunter, perhaps not equipped on this, on this moment, on this day, to hunt a lobster. 
He's still going to hit the buttons, though. He's not unplugging. It would be insane to unplug. Signs of life from the, from the crowd. It was a bit silent for a second. I was feeling a bit doomed, but there's life in SA Nick yet. Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are, you, a are you telling me SA Nick is breathing in the sweet air and saying, I'm alive? He is alive. Take a piece of that oxygen. He has surfaced. What's he got here? No, Miss Mason. If, if she hits the very edge of the stage, then she gets around the, uh, the tipper. I'm gonna walk a little. Does Davin falter at the finish line? I guess one of the strongest players in the country. Does he falter? It's in his hands. Whoa! Nick's brought this game back in the stock count. Adelaide coming alive for one of the two hometown heroes on screen. <laughs> yeah, both these guys, Adelaide. No, no jump, no jump. jump. You hate to see that. That's the ledge. Nick on what is potentially his tournament stock. Whips a big dash attack. Down Hits the SDI at the yeah, crucial it's, it's moment. SDI, very crucial. Uh oh. Oh, no jump, no oh. jump. Davin risks it all. Hubris, Jordy. Hubris. Nick gives a coy smile. He this says, is, if I'm going to win. comfortable lead by any means. It's going to be off that. Great Nez gets CC. Four days out. Love to see that. Another overshoot. Great grab. Up is going to do stuff here. Oh no, weak hit. Sticks to the stage, says no it's needles. Grab. He has to DI away. Out. Might have DI'd too far out, gets the full stack. Oh, that'll do it. Davin wins it again. He Nick almost can't believe it himself. Very well played by Davin, very well played. Unfortunate oh. stuff. He is an absolute powerhouse now. in Australian Smash, and he has just taken it the two time over SA Nick. Is this going to be a problem? for Nick going forward. Is Davin ready to play right now? You take a couple minutes, perhaps? Hey, if, we're, if we're taking a couple minutes, i got business to take care of. You got to go business? Yeah, that Gatorade <laughs> has slipped right through me. You do, you, man. I can... Uh, you think you can hold it down? I'll hold it down. You got a special the players are walking them. away. All right, all right. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I got... I'm slipping out. BRB, put a one in the chat. All right, welcome everyone. You've been watching all so patiently, and now it is your time. Finally, I can read what you're saying. So talk to me, tell me what's happening in your lives. We're coming into grand finals of the Big Cheese 3, and I want to know where you're all watching from, okay? Are you watching from your house? Are you watching from Australia or somewhere else? Anything is possible here. I see Guchasm, I see Bun Dun, I see Polion, Chapos, who's watching with that sound from GG Easy Bar, I know that much. My house? Oh, Jesus. Spud is watching from Ligma Land. That sounds like a lovely place. I hear it's the nicest time of year. South Australia, hell yeah, why aren't you here? And if you're not here, uh, you should go to Danny's Thai Bistro for dinner tonight. I hear it's, um, well, I don't hear, I went there and it fucking ruled. So go to Danny's Thai Bistro. Gooch is also in my house. I wonder if he sees J. Jeff there. We got Sakia coming in, winner's side. He's warming up, he's shaking out the hands. Ah, bathroom. New Jersey, hell yeah. Welcome, welcome. This is, uh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be some high level Fox Cheek. Um, they played two times at a major, maybe six months ago, I wanna say. And uh, they traded sets. Davox, 22, one in winners. Sock, one in losers. Ah, yes, that's pretty recent, right? <laughs> yeah, it was like, I want to say March, so... Yeah, like half a year ago at this point, because it really do be almost November. When you think about <laughs> it. Yeah, we're running this at the end of October instead of December this year. So, it's a little bit different. I mean, we tried to avoid, like, a lot of other end-of-year bull-ish. Mm. 
So hopefully, hopefully we can keep this spot. Hopefully people enjoy their time coming down during the spooky season. Yeah. yeah. What are what are all your Halloween costumes? I want to know. You got a crazy Halloween costume, guy? Nah. Unfortunately not. The, the closest costume I have is a. Uh, all I got going for me is a, a Kakyoin from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Okay. Costume. I'm not familiar, but I can believe it. I've seen some crazy JoJo's outfits. Yeah. Can you imagine that's among them. It, it's like a green uh, school uniform, you know. Mm. Um, JoJo's characters are so funny. They're so big, yeah. and they're like teenagers. So good. I've always wanted to go uh, do a costume, uh, Cusco from The Emperor's New Groove. Oh, that'd be great. That's, it, it is cool, but you kind of got to full commit to it. I don't want to half-ass it. You know? <laughs> He's got like crazy, like huge dangling earrings and like a whole bunch of stuff happening. And so, um, you know. Right, I'll just tell these guys to do a big warm-up. Do a warm-up, guys. I see Microsoft J pacing back into the venue. I oh, know they're definitely starting. Oh, no, no, the they're, they're starting. They're starting. They're starting. Oh my god, I'm moving. This is real. Game one, Rand finals. Sock versus Davox. We saw Davin overcome one of his demons in Goody earlier. Davox is cool, Chan. I can barely hear my own thoughts over the top of them. But can he overcome yet another demon in the formidable fox of Sock, my son? Oh, just barely whips whiff, on the first hit of the down smash. You know what I like about Sock's gameplay is that he's um he's never really eager to like run in, right? Yeah. I think that's super important. Um, and like the same can be said about his uh, outer shield stuff because Davin's one of those uh, players who likes to like test your shield and then just completely back off. Really uses like Sheik's you know really fast movement to like bait people out like in close range. And we have Jordy returning. This is game one. Hello, hello. This is. All right, what I miss? Uh, Davin kind of threw an edge guard earlier, but uh, he cleaned it up. Nice. I love to hear that Davin is cleaning it up. I would love to see a real banger of a set right now. Oh my God. Off the top, a real gun buster. Spear, spear versus whatever weapon we set the shuriken. Who is more powerful? In the annals of history, who will they remember? Davox 22 or MF? Sock my son. Oh, that would have been really finds it though. Dude, he needled. Okay. Yeah, he could oh, have okay. needled, but he knew. He knew. He, he was like, hey, save the hey, needles for next hey, time. Let me, let me charge one up. Let me grab that ledge real quick. Back. No, he's such a down thrower. Now he's a back thrower. He knew, dude. He knew the path to victory. He got him. He got him. Oh my god, he's up. The crowd loves it. They're coming alive. The crowd is in love with Davox. Oh yeah. Just barely missed the grab there. Tell. Has to be. Oh good though. Great arms attack. Oh finds wow. the grab, man. Davin is finding them today. Oh my Ooh, god. What an option. That's 50. Real quick. Ah, uh, the great, the great equalizer. 62 is nothing to sneeze at. It's, oh man. Percent is so important in this matchup machine. Yeah, that, that's when. Yeah. That's when you can't be uh, holding down against goddamn everything in the world. Great needle. Some things, but not everything. Oh my god, the dash dash. The dash, the dash dance, as wow. they say. Okay, catches him out of shield. Lowest, so good with the side B. Lowest side B known to man. Okay, Great arms that. tech. Down smash. Oh. Nice. Davin's on the board. As hard to kill as he is. The crowd is so alive right now. I almost joined in for a sec, but then I realized. Yeah. I think Sock can hear it through the AirPods. He kind of turned around and smiled. He's like, oh my god. Yeah, that's the one instance where the guy has AirPods in and he will turn around. He can hear you. He has not only the mountain of Davox to climb, but the mountain of the crowd behind him. Yeah, look, man. Oh, this is, you know, so unfortunately, Sock my son is not a crowd favorite. Uh, but hey, he gets the bloody job done. That's why we love him. Charge up smash. He put some butter on it. This is not unfamiliar territory for him. He's, no. he's been he's been the favorite in sets before and had to you know really cement his place as one of the top dogs here. 
<laughs> Big tech on the chase. This is everything. Oh, oh my god, wow. loses Weird his wallet, stuff. but finds it along the way. Slips and slides. <laughs> okay. They should add like skidding sounds whenever you get the run turn around. Yeah, like cartoon, like kind of a mirror. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, he goes for the crazy uh, plop, plop maneuver where they get the arm stack and you just jab him. Oh, true. True champ. Not too anti out of the corner, but suck finds right. him anyway. Right, it's fine. Lead situation again. Oh no, drops a shield at the perfect moment. Ah. <laughs> and dies for it. Fox back air is too powerful. Best move of the game. I'll say it. Jab him. Yep. Oh, he hurt yep, us, yep, man. Yep, yep, Bloody yep. hurt us. Gavin, by the way, repping the ACT. He's a bit of a dual region kind of guy. <laughs> the crowd going nuts, even though nothing happened. It's, it's kind of crazy that walking away from the other guy, you're like, oh my god! Look, man, when, when attention's on the line, you do something crazy, get hyped for it. Woo. Wow. What a downside. There's yep. the chase. Might see a dash attack confirm. Yes, sir. Oh my god, oh. mix up on the DI. Yes. He's got one back air to do. He doesn't do it. I, what was the edge did in? All right, okay, we weak. dash attack. That's all good. That's all good. Miss times the needle. Uh, oh, Sock misses the confirm. That's a tough one. Good he hits up. <laughs> True. All right, th this, this game might be a. No, no, wait, no. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, wow. Up is just the right height. Oh, there's the up till the damage is racking up. Oh my yeah, god, it's uh, just, you know. What else do you say? Socks running them down. But hey, FD. Whatever, man, it's just FD. You can, you can throw it away. Put it behind you. And the classic account. Found no dreams. It's time. Legends will be born. Champions will be made. Oh my god. As we say it. Oh no, what is that? How? How did he not get hooked? What is that? Great down smash. Oh, oh my god, Ooh, bit of a flop on both ends. Not too sure what happened. That one misses a dash, presumably. Oh no. That is a tough. If, if you're trying to jab side B, you don't have a lot of frames to do it, my friend. Yeah, you really gotta be uh, grammatically correct on that one. Yeah. Sub the platform can't save him. That's, uh, that's the fun classic. Checkmated in that situation if the platform's low enough. There okay. it is, double fair. Love that from him. Sock with a big grab. Oh, no jump here. Oh, love that up tilt though. Great no, trade jump. conversion. Oh my god. Wow. Come on, Socky. Yeah. Okay. Show us some magic. Oh, the wow. chain again. That's like another the third misinput. Time. Down on his. Okay, he's, he's just slipping. Wow. Straight down smash. Back air. Goes high. Yeah, that's a oh, toughie, yeah. man. That's a toughie. Just drill grab. Knowing that it's going to keep holding shield. Yeah. They've been trying to like hold on to center stage. Sock is so slippery though. The guys away everything. Nice. It's the retreating back air. Straight in. Uh, he's gonna eat a ton of damage for that one. Never oh. hits the stage though. Tries to empty land. Crazy up there. Oh dear. So crazy. Uh, just cashes out with the down smash. Sock willing to just hold, oh, and then the shine off smash. He's so good at that one. The Rafiki. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. So kind of giving Davin a chance here. Still the ball. Oh, no. Not unless you're adults, my god. Let, let the other guy do that if you're trying to win. That just like holding onto any ground he can, he can keep his little claws on. Tech chance is unfortunately being the part. He's doing a good job of avoiding the crouch cancel punishes, though. Yeah, he's kind of keeping, keeping, you know, a good space away. Get to open ocean on the left side. Oh, uh, doesn't get the needle yeah, on Great that. ledge dash. Finds the ledge. Yeah, it goes for the reverse hit. I like that. You cannot be up being. Okay, he's alive, he's alive. Thank you. All right, all right. 
Damage moving though. Every hit. Every hit is a gasp. Up it! No, it jumps out. What do you do? You have to find a grab. Walks up and does it to him, but no, the dash back is not there. Again, and Sock launches his way into what might be the last game of the tournament. Sock going up 2-1 against Davin in Grand Finals. You can taste it. The big cheese three. Yeah, blood is in the water if you Sock my son right now. Dude, they're slipping and sliding all over the place. The amount of missed air dodges is just dictating the set. All right, Davin laying on the pressure, keeping the spacing tight. So smooth by Davin, but unfortunately falls for a uh, falls for one of the classic crouch cancel tricks. Yep, you never see this one coming. Oh, so close for something crazy. Oh, accidental pivot. All right, oh, nice. Davin's so good at finding his way to the ledge when he needs to. Oh, straight, oh, straight in. Straight in. Davin, like, Sock's mixing it up, and Davin's just kind of, like, not needling the way he should. The way he could. Weak back here. Yeah. Tries to find it. Blasts right through the shield, an odd one. This is what Davin's been doing. Yeah. Something that a lot of streaks will do is they'll try to, like, needle where they think they're going to start their side B uh. for, like, a sweet spot side B. Sock has kind of narrowly been avoiding that until now, but now he's realized that if he does the high side B, he can actually hit Davin during his animation. Ah. On the other hand, Davox does rock, so. I think Davin, I think Davo, I think Davin rocks, man. Huh? I think Davin rocks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think that's, that's a fair assertion from the crowd to say that Davin rocks. Yeah. Ooh. The Phantom confirmed. Ah, he had the right idea. He's going to hold on to this slight lead and take the stock. Yeah, so I think that time Sock was like, I've done straight two times in a row. Davin's surely going to try to cotton onto that. Yeah, and yeah. He, you know, didn't lay up. Ooh. Ooh. Tech school. Okay. This is just, you know. Wow. Oh, missed totally. times the up smash. Davin can potentially find his way to ledge. Great CC. But no, he gets back Ed. He wins the duel of shield drops. He draws first. Sock is just laser focused onto the screen. Oh my god, no way! Oh, when that hard hits! What is that? I just can't help but feel like even when it's even, Davin just like, just can never eke out an advantage. Okay, here we go. That's big. Hey up, he's high. Finds a ledge though. Run off! Where are the needles, bro? Anything. It's anything. He's just a deer in headlights. Oh, spot dodge. Shine. The tension is it's so thick, it's so dense. Nice on Needle his way back. No Slide answer tech. Up, oh, this is up smash percent. Oh no, Sock gives it up, but oh, with punish. Gives it to him anyway. Yeah, I don't think the downer even came out. The crowd wants to see more melee. Big punish here for Sock. Gets the grab. Picks it up. Yeah, like the second, you know, Sock's goal right now is just get this fellow at up smash percent. And then it's party time. Oh yeah. Oh my god! Oh, that's that's nice. Nice. Back air. Keeps the save. Oh, he grabs that. That is such discipline to grab. The up tilt. Gets out of the up air. Not quite over. Ledge dash, off smash through the platform. Weak hit. Oh no, he goes to the oh. no, miss. Ledge dash. And Sock, my son, seals the big cheese. Three. Impressive stuff. Very solid gameplay overall. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The crowd goes wild. He's risen above everyone else. Stand alone as the champion over the Big Cheese 3. Formidable nice. performance by Davok. Coming in at second. SA Nick third. The Big 3 of Oz Smash have put on a show for us. Pub? Pub? Glad to say in pub time. We have. Now, I'm not too sure what the protocol is. I think we might do a. Uh... Oh, and Nick is not in the venue. <laughs> Nick is long fucking gone. <laughs> yeah, Nick Nick said he's going to go chill out, which I said was fair enough. We can do top two. Uh, yeah, who, who, what do you, you want, you want, who, you want to like rotate? I do someone, you do someone? Sure. 
You wanna, you wanna be uh, we'll do Sock first, because surely Sock's easier to talk to right now. He didn't just lose. Right. You can do Sock, and I'll do Davin. Uh, I'll talk to Sheik about Davin. Oh, fucking hell. We'll break, we'll break for like a minute. We'll get all right, all right, all we'll right. figure it out, and we'll Stay be back Stay tuned to you. for interviews for the top two of the tournament, uh, and a little award ceremony. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. The gameplay, we'll be right back.
All right. Um, first of all, I just want to thank everyone coming here to, to Big Cheese 3 in Adelaide and appreciate every single entrance to Melee. It was a, I had a great time and I hope you guys did as well. Um, I just want to give a shout out to all TOs and organisers. They did an amazing job. Give them a round of applause. And another extra special round of applause to Kaiser. Kai, he did an amazing job with the stream. Oh, good. All right. So in seventh place, we've had McLeod and Microsoft J. Yep. And then in, in fifth, we have Muscat and uh, Kirk Cobain. I think he left the building, but uh, don't, not, not sure where he went. And in fourth place, we have Goody. And uh, for the top three, we've got some medals going around. In third place is SA Nick. He, he's left the building, but still give him a round of applause. He did a great Bobby job. Nick. He's in chat. He's in chat, everyone. Say, everyone, you love him. And uh, second place, we have uh, Davox. <laughs> Come up. Oh, get him on stream. He's already got the medal. I, th I was going to give it to him. He's in there. All right, and uh, our grand champion, first place, that goes to Sock. Come here. Get, get, get on. Get, get on. All right, yep. So once again, thank you all for coming. And we have the Big Cheese 3 after party at the Austral. So um, what street, time everyone. does that start, Jack? Eight, Eight o'clock at the Austral. That's in the city. Everyone come along to that. All right, cheers, guys. Thank you. Hello, hello. We're here with the oh, winner's interview. First place. Yes. Sock Gaming. It is me, Sock My Son Gaming. Oh, I'll get an obvious question out of the way. Yes. How do you feel? Uh, good. You know, I've um, shit the bed, so to say, the last two tournaments. And mm. uh, I definitely had a little reality check when I saw people in post-game chat saying Goody was better than me. <laughs> and uh, that made me realize I had to really start playing the game up. every day again. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so I've been doing it. And mm. you know, it's paid off. Yeah, uh, we touched on that a little. So you came off BAM? First yeah. place, Battle Arena Melbourne. Yeah. And then, you know, Phantom, I Phantom, fell off, in a way. Phantom was a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a rough day for the Sock Nation. It was. It was a, it was a uh, toughie. So obviously all the Sock fans and all of Australia is happy to see Sock <laughs> clean up as people try to fuck with the trophy. Yeah. Uh, Take my cheese board. Yeah, I yeah. Show give, it. Give, the show, give the trophy a nice show. A nice there cheese board. And or paddle. You can do all sorts Multi -purpose of Multi-purpose item. Yeah. 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 So what's on the horizon? Perhaps America? Perhaps more Australia? What, what do you? I think what, what World Tour is next. Smash World Tour, because uh, Josh isn't going, so I will be the, the spot oceanic from, uh, representative for World Tour. Well, you certainly earned it today, I must say. Uh, well, it feels good. I feel like I needed to win today to feel like I earned it. Mm. I, I think I literally only needed top eight to get enough points that Nick literally couldn't overtake me, but. I, I try not to tell myself that. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to win instead. Yeah, you know man? Points. Like, I, it's, the Good points, idea. like, cool. it would be cool to go to World Tour, but if I don't win, then, like, in a way, I'm like, should Nick have gone? You know, so, like, it, it, that's, like, it's a, it's a good feeling to be able to be, like, no doubt in my mind, other than Josh, like, I, I kind of deserve it right now. Yeah, so yeah. No, I think everyone most certainly agrees with that. Uh, so look forward to seeing Sock at Smash World Tour. I just want to yeah. say, what do you think? What do you think of the Big Cheese Three as a tournament Dude, here in this, Adelaide? Yeah, this event's been sick. This, uh, I, I honestly haven't been degening as much as uh, I usually would during an event, so I'm keen to to go off the handles tonight. Oh shit! So, oh, my uh, God. but I've got to say, like everything here has been awesome. The crowd's been so loud, and it's it's been crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, what there's a there's the really menu. nothing like the SA boys just 
absolutely wanting me to suffer, and it's so funny. Just hearing the screams every time I get hit by like, <laughs> by like Nick or like Nate or something. Walking. Yeah, yeah, Everyone he starts walking. Crazy, like, you just hear monkey noises, <laughs> like, and I'm like, oh boy, this is this is what it's like to be playing uh, playing someone from like being in their state, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. No one gets territory. louder than South Australia. That's that's for damn sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I knew what I signed up for. <laughs> showing oh, yeah, up here. Absolutely. You you've been to these tournaments before. Yeah. Even, even, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Well, Sark, <laughs> if you have any closing words, feel free to say anything to the people of the internet. Uh, th I want to say thank you to Kai uh, for doing all the production stuff. That's been absolutely awesome. He's, right over there. he's been on top of it. Uh, he's right, right here. Come, come into the frame. Come into the Kai. frame. Kai, come over. Big give, a, give a little wave. KP Kaiser. Yeah, oh, shout outs man. to Kai. Oh, he, 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 oh. he smashed it. Um, oh, thanks Kai. for coming, man. Yeah, of course. I, I love it when people come to Adelaide. I love, oh, I love yeah, Adelaide it's, so it's much. Six. I just like people. So long as you book your flights here, you five know? months in advance. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I did. I get the Look, Rupert treatment. That's not our fault. Otherwise. Yeah. That's not our fault. No, no, no. Yeah. Never, never. Um, and also, shout out to just like rest of production and just like all the TOs yeah, uh, for the squad what they've done. Rats, Muscad, yeah. yeah, exactly. A lot of good work. Um, just absolutely killing it. Uh, I know McLeod was doing a lot of work too. Um, so, shout outs to all those boys. Um, shout outs to Mind Freak. Uh, thank you for existing. Yes. Are you ready? <laughs> and uh, yeah, that that that's about it. Well said, my friend. Well said. Oh, you know what? Also, shout outs to my girlfriend Jen for coming. Jen. Yeah. So Jen, the real MVP, uh, for for coming along for the trip. So that's nice. been pretty sick. Very nice. Yeah. Well, thank you for jumping on the mic, saying a few words. Of course. Uh, I'll see you tonight, man. Yeah. If you're gonna get as crazy as you say you are. I. I'll have we'll to. See. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we we'll will see. Yeah. We will see. All right, All right, so up next, peace out, guys. We got Davin coming up. Davin, Davox. Yeah. Skip will be having a few words with Davin. A little chic talk for you chic mains out there. Stay tuned. Peace out on Microsoft J. Oh, howdy. How are you going, Skip? How was commentary? Oh, it was good, man. It was a pleasure to watch you. How are you feeling? First of all, I want you to talk to me about the SA Nick set. Yeah, what about it? Um, well, any thoughts? How did you feel? Because if um, I'm not mistaken, the Easy League was the first time you beat him, right? Yeah. And that was very That close. was a couple months ago. A while ago. And this is the next time you've played him since then? Yep. And Haven't you beat him, him again? Since. Exactly. Um, well, I think the first few games, everyone was a bit shaky. I just clutched it out and in game three FD or game four I think it was I started moving a bit better and I just went for some hard reads and they worked I got lucky and he he crumbled a little got bit slapped. to be honest yeah um, how, how do you feel about that matchup SA Nick um, not a fan says borderline unwinnable for Marth you know which is a bit of hyperbole but like I think it's thoughts? fine I'm biased I think it's fine for Marth I think it's so 50 too 50 at okay it's I think it's 50 50 like I think 50 it's 50 45 50. at worst yeah uh, I guess Dreamland maybe is bad for Marth, but every other stage is fine. Yeah. I don't think it's bad. You take Sheik's jump, you juggle her, she dies. Yeah. Um, Might be a controversial opinion, though. But no, I, I do not think you got lucky. I think you uh, you played very well and uh, deserving of the win. And uh, Sock, tell me about that. Yeah, that, that was a hard set. Um, I think we both played, well, I played well. I can't, I can't speak to Sock. But it kind of went down to the wire, honestly. Uh, a lot of the time it was like some hitboxes were like one or two pixels away from each other and then it was just 50-50 on whose hitbox would hit each other first. Yeah. And he won a lot of the trades. It's and also his DI is crazy. He, oh, he goes yeah. to ledge every time and it's it's un It's so un hard, right? Yeah. It feels like it's the reverse of Sheik Martha where it's like, how do you kill him? Because every time he's just going to attack to the ledge. Yep. And then he does short ends and then he does really low side Bs and you mm. can't really cover low side Bs unless you read it. Yeah. I noticed you were doing like the same kind of needle edge guard to try to yeah. hit like the way they were going to start the sweet spot side B. Yep. Um, um, I do that because I start from really far away when I, I hit him from like center stage and I don't yeah. have enough time to You don't have enough many options. So I just chuck the needles and then hope. Might as well, yeah. yeah. And then I think he caught onto it and started doing like really high side Bs to hit you during the needles. Yep, yep. But um, it's just hard, right? Fox just like has an answer to everything, it seems like. Yeah, I think that's a borderline unwinnable matchup. Mm. Your tech chases were good against Goody and then kind of fell off against Sock. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Um, nervous, maybe? Just I think, yeah. It's maybe. hard to maintain. It's like the end of the day. Like, yeah. 
Grand Finals, crowd behind you. How are you going to text chase? Every time you get a grab, everyone yeah. goes crazy. I could. Yeah, it was it was a good time. I enjoyed yeah. it. It was good, but then at the same time, it's like I have to hit this slight di take in place. It's like how am I going to do that? Uh, I'm just going to up smash next time. <laughs> look look at that controller do the H box. Yeah, you know? if you up smash, you Stand can up. never lose. You don't get shined. You know, yeah. you might drop the punish, but you know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, well, some some foxes they take in place the shine. I mean the up smash, and then they oh, shine you back, and then oh, it's it's, oh, it's pound town. That is nonsense. Mm, I agree. Well, but no, good tournament. Yeah. Honestly, I, I enjoyed it a lot. A bit shaky yesterday, but a bit shaky today as well. But made it back through through losers. Yeah, you came. You came from losers quarters, right, all the way. Uh, yeah. That's a big run. That's like five sets. Yeah, five sets, I think. So uh, huge props, huge congratulations. Any any closing thoughts? Huge shout out to SA Smash. Oh yeah. We have some of the friendliest players in Australia in the scene. Everyone's just. Everyone's just a good person. And thank you to everyone for hosting this event. It's good to see the friends here from Interstate. Yeah. It's, it's, been, it's been a while since we've had a major in SA, since yeah. before COVID. So it's good to see everyone. Thanks for coming. Say, Big Cheese 3, you know, a lot of us uh, from Victoria, from around, uh, we've been to all three. You know, yep. this is uh, one of the, uh, I will say, it's the friendliest major. If you want to come to a major and just hang out, this is the one. As well as obviously some amazing melee. But it's a chill vibe. A it's a good vibe. Grassroots vibe to this major, and mm. huge shout outs to Kai, to Flo Rats, to Muscat, to McLeod, to everyone here. To everyone who helped out, honestly. Everyone. It it's on. not easy to host a major. If you are able to and don't come next year, then you're missing out. So come to Big Cheese 4. Do Big it. Cheese 4. Well, we've just announced it for you. Thank you. <laughs> TBD. Um, but on that, thank you. I think we're done, right? You'll take the mic? All right. Thank Kai, you very much, Kaiser. Can I just leave this one here? Oh, you got so, it? I'll say what's up. I would say what's up. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everyone. That's it. <laughs> it's over. Thanks for watching so much, everyone. Loved having you here, as always. Um, there's nothing more than I like than uh, getting to be able to make a good old-fashioned gaming broadcast. I don't know how many people remember it. If you're an Australian old head, there was an old TV series called Amazing, and they had this little like video game competition segment, and then later on, like teams of two from like a bunch of schools would go out, and, go out in a maze and find letters and that kind of thing. It was a great program, but it was definitely the start of all my, um, of all my desire to just show people gaming. I love gaming so much. I love showing people gaming. Um, I love people who game. Um, I'm just happy to have people here in Adelaide, especially. And I love people. I love showing people Adelaide more than anything in the world. It's one of my favorite places. Um, a little old, little old lad from Port Pirie, making things happen in, in this in this funny place. Um, I don't have much more else to say, but I want to thank. Um, all the staff that have put in so much work for this event. Um, you know, I was feeling a little bit miserable on the first day because of the internet, but like, I think it's fine. I think everyone who was watching really enjoyed it anyway. Um, so I'll definitely go down the list and shout out everyone who has chipped into this event in all the, all the little ways. I want to shout out um, Musket and McLeod for doing a lot of the bulk of the TOing work for Melee. I want to shout out Florats for being the big cheese himself, making it happen every year. He's literally folding up chairs as we speak, so I'm not going to get time to get him on the mic and say a few words. Um, but I love him so much. Love everyone who was here. Um, shout out to Notorious Mac, Matt Craig, for holding it down for... That's him behind me. There he is. Yeah. Um, Matt Craig for holding it down for MK. Um, shout out to Multiverse Zeus for coming through and doing the stream for that as well. Much appreciated. Uh, shout out to Fenno. Um, shout out to Misha for running the side streams down right beside me here all, uh, all weekend. Shout out to Pitchy for a truly unique tournament experience. I don't like love his work um, and everything he does with uh, all the random games that he tries to push onto everyone. Nothing more that I, that I enjoy than people being passionate about the games they love. Uh, shout out to Pitchy, shout out to Sam for doing a lot of TO hard yards on the floor as well. Shout out to Moose um, from the Tekken scene. Shout out to, who else can I think of while I'm here? Uh, shout out to Giggles, he's also part of the crew as well. Shout out to Jamie for staying with me. 
Love Jamie. Um, shout out to Tide Ray. Shout out to Gabe. Shout out to um, the rest of the Couch Rays guys. Shout out to Pudge. Shout out to Craven. Um, shout out to Taco Titian for running Ultimate Stream upstairs for a while. Shout out to. Um, Shout out to Nigosa for lending us another PC for um, for the FTC stream. Super clutch to come in with that. Shout out to Taicho for... I I can't put into words how much... Um, how much, like... I, don't know, I can't put into words how much, like, Taicho really does for the ultimate scene here. Um, it makes me happy that someone... that uh, A community like that has a person like that to be their ambassador. Um, everyone's here really... Everyone here is really lucky to have him. Um, yeah, his effort does not go unnoticed. Everyone's kind of heading out the venue now. I'll say goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for for coming to another Big Cheese. Thanks for everyone who tuned in on this live stream as well. I'll see you next time. Um, and, you know, dice for life, brother. Um, in the meantime, let's find someone to, to set you free with. Love to have you here, everyone. Ah, oh, it's over. Can you believe another big cheese is over, everyone? All right. Folks, this is Kaiser. I'm signing out. Thank you for watching the Big Cheese 3. I'll see you next time. You can follow me at KP Kaiser on Twitter. You can follow Couch Warriors SA on Facebook and Twitter as well. You know where to find us. Support South Australian Melee. And the VODs will be up on SA Smash TV on YouTube as well. Make sure you follow all of our socials. Um, you know where to go. There's the socials. There's the VODs in chat. Is anyone playing Melee on stream right now? Let's see. If not, I'll just host one of the other Big Cheese streams. All right, well, no, no better place to go than the Couchway Smash stream right now, folks. That's going to be it for me. This is Kaiser signing out. Peace. <laughs>